All right. We are live. Ooh. <clears throat> that's the, uh, that's the good shit right there. Live, on time. Um, like, almost a minute early. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're dead. Hell yeah. I'm actually on, uh, chapter four now. So hot here. What's with this place? This is too much for me. I'm out of here. Wait, look at this. A feather? Hmm? Let me see. What's so special about it? This is an angel feather. It's not yours, is it? No, it's size and the aura it radiates. They are both superior to mine. This feather belongs to a high-level angel. <clears throat> no wonder this place reeks of goodness. But I came to the netherworld under the Sarah's secret orders. Why wouldn't another angel be here? Prince, you think that angel stole Flan's pendant? Hmm, I'm surprised that a love freak like you would have enemies. That's not possible. An angel would never steal my pendant. But only no um but only angels know about the pendant, right? Well, ah, oh, forget it. We still have to find it regardless. I don't care what kind of trouble those Celestians stir up for themselves. All right. XP plus 100. Uh, this is the map I was talking about. Uh, I was hoping to have unlocked this, but I'm a big, big dumb retard, so I didn't actually unlock this. Last stream. God damn it. God damn it. This is actually perfect for my cleric. Cleric level up? Uh, what about Bume level up? Ah, uh, well. Will I use the Samurai Exorcist? Uh, probably, maybe. I like the samurai. Wait. Are you talking about the male or female one? I mean, Exorcist sounds like the female one, but. Uh, so I like the female one. I like, I like how she looks. She looks really good. Well, this is really close to being pretty pog but god damn it I need to stop saying words ironically it might not be called samurai but there is a uh, there's the ronin isn't there Now that I think about it, it's not called Samurai, it's called Ronin. So yeah, you were talking about the female Samurai. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of words I have adopted ironically. Uh, epic. Epic is one of them. I don't know if anybody remembers the uh, era where the entire... All over the internet, all over the internet, you would hear the words uh, epic and for the win. Probably the worst, uh, the worst things out there.
Apparently there's a bug, by the way, and I was looking at this on the page, uh, on one of the pages. There's a bug where sometimes magic only does one-fourth the damage. And that's, like, just part of this game. So, uh, out, of, out of a ten, how epic do you think that is? That is. Sometimes you just don't do full damage. So I guess this is the one game where magic isn't overpowered. Oh, what the hell? You only took... Well, let's compare res. Okay, never mind. This guy has, like, double res. That's... Okay, that's different. And now he's dead. Um, come over here, young young mage. We'll level you up. Or will we? Let's hope this doesn't kill. The enemy is a higher level now. Yeah, it didn't kill. Okay, sweet. Boom. Can now level. And then he can teach his new mega ice to uh, everybody else in the crew. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together like that? This is all according to plan. Yeah, Awesome Sauce is another one of those people just said uh, as a joke. But yeah, I have, I have, uh, I have friends who, who uh, jokingly say that sort of thing too. So I've kind of just... Oh, holy sh... Okay, that's low enough. BBB. Your only choice, or only chance, BBB. Not only choice. We got plenty of choices. We don't need you, BBB. Uh, claim prize. Dark Rosary, baby. You know what that means. Longtime subscribers of this channel will know it. Here's the power of your of like a weapon that you get on. You get within a general time span, right? Like uh, the first couple of uh, levels, uh, first couple chapters. Hold on, actually, let me buy a new weapon. Now you can see I have 8K. I haven't really spent much money recently. Uh. Now, uh, oh shit, this is, this is actually, uh, it's pretty good. It's got a statistician on it, it's got an arms master on it. We're taking that. We're actually taking that, that is mine. But yeah, uh, if you, if you spend 2k after advancing at like level 8 or so. Actually, no, I don't have to advance to level 8. But, um, yeah, if you just... If you just, uh, like, let's compare these. It's level 30. This is, like, 13 extra. Yeah. Basically, uh, at a certain point, you'll be able to do crazy shit like that. But, like, those that rosary is, like, plus 20 to all stats. And I guess it's not as relevant right now, like, anymore. But, like, in the early game, like, holy crap. Yeah, we're playing the video game. First time ever, I'm playing a video game on stream. Yeah, uh, last, uh, well, I guess it wasn't really night for me since I, I'm on the on the on the West Coast. But man, last stream was pretty fucking insane, actually.
one of the characters made you. Okay, so Ass Eater can teach me uh, magic. This game has so much depth. Uh, whenever I play it, I feel like my uh, my intelligence goes up by at least 50 points. right there. Actually, I found a better way to do this. To get full coverage. She can't do a full thing either. Look at that level up. That was choice, my friends. We are... <laughs> if Laharo was in the kitchen for a day, what kind of dishes would he be making? Oh, Laharo can't cook. Um, Laharo can't cook at all. This dude would say, it's leftovers night. That's what he would do. He'd say... It's leftovers night. What do you mean we didn't have anything for dinner last night? Weren't you supposed to make something? Something like that. You would be basically not want to fucking put up with it. Someone else would be making him cook, and he wouldn't like it. Like, it was, it was like, either Etna or Flan's duty to make food yesterday, and now he has to make it today. It's being foisted upon him, and he's he just doesn't like it. He doesn't want to make dinner. Stars. He probably, he like, he'd probably get pestered by, uh, he'd probably get pestered by, uh, one of the other mages, or one of the other, like, one of the printies. He says, you keep this up, you can have a knuckle sandwich. Or something. If you're so hungry, you can have a knuckle sandwich. How's that sound?
Uh, I can't do I can't do Laharl's voice. He actually has a. He's got a pretty good voice actor, actually. To be like he 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 sounds a little bit off at times, but I'm pretty sure that's like intended for his voice actor. He actually has some pretty good emotional range. Laharl's gonna know like magic boost, <laughs> which is actually uh, kind of kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but only kind of. Uh, VRB is not gonna be able to handle this. He's gonna die. I can just tell. And then that leaves my healer uh, at risk of dying. Yeah, well, I. Okay, never mind. I figured he'd get attacked by, uh, so. Oh, wait, he did die after the fact. After he got attacked, but. I mean, that doesn't count. I was expecting him to die from the hit, is what I meant. Do some advanced strats real quick. Planar, my love, you have to sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Oh wait, she didn't die instant, uh, instantaneously. Okay. Uh. It certainly feels like. Uh, maybe it's just because I only use that tactic on enemies that are too powerful or something like that in other games, but it sort of feels like it, it kills instantly in other games. Yeah, how you like you guys like being immediately shot into my grinding st stream? You didn't even ask for this. But now you're stuck with it. <laughs> the Etna, the Etna fluoride stare. I think that's more of a death stare. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. None of this matters. Anybody saying that this this matters is wrong. We're gonna um Can't believe I'm driving this amount of money on uh on a nothing character. This guy is here to give ice spells to the rest of my crew. He exists for that alone.
And the Glizzy Goblin is, uh... Wow. What kind of, what kind of skills are... Is she gonna... Well, he get, I guess. Geo change Immediately has Geo change. Summons a turret. Dark cannon, huh? What what is this character? What is the turret shit? Alright, good luck, man. I hope you don't get shafted. I hope I hope you're uh you're you're playing with her and she doesn't turn out to be a guy. You know, not that there's anything wrong with that. Hell yeah. I need to level up these other units too. Everybody else is falling behind. Oh, I should have done this off stream. But I also had to do the first level. For a moment, I thought about it, like, isn't Bume gonna do less damage or something, but... No, this dude, uh... I, I took, I took, uh, spells off from What's-Her-Face. Should be fine. Okay, magic boost is almost ready. Completely. It's almost completely ready. Oh, wait, never mind. Wow. Dude, is a res. What the fuck? They've got 80 res. What in the hell is going on? 80 res units. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of it's kind of weird. Kind of weird that they have that much.
Oh shit. Just fucking kill them. Oh my god, Gat character, please. I need to level up Yoom. How is he supposed to get EXP if you keep stealing his kills? Oh, she's dead. What the fuck? Bastards. Get to work on that mega heal. Oh, we already got mega ice. Ooh. Okay, that's level. N that's level eight. Then I was expecting it to be ten for some reason. Another one of these, huh? Another one. Dead either way. Kill? No, it doesn't. Edna's dead. I can't believe that. Oh, yeah, I can't believe Edna's dead. This dude needs experience using Mega Ice. Price star orb. All these items have like crazy shit, like arms, arms, uh, on them, arm stuff. Hold on. Star orb. That is a lot of res, actually. It's a lot of res and a lot of SP. Delicious for my healer. What would you like to do? Um, I'd like to get the fuck out of here, actually. I'd like to jump through the window. Just run away. Hmm.
Level six. Level six sword. Oh wow. Laharl actually has really good masteries for everything. Except for guns and <laughs> except for guns. The staves mastery is pretty good actually. I can make Laharl a mage if I wanted. I could do whatever I wanted with Laharl. That's pretty crazy actually. Usually the um I think Adele's only good at like swords and swords and fists, but he's got like an S rank in them. He's got an S rank in fists and maybe an A rank in swords. Does he have a does he have better than S? I don't know. Or rather better than A in swords. Who knows? But I don't think he's equipped to use an axe. Give him a piece. I think we're going to start to run into the big issue with this game. Uh, the big issue Disguise 1 and 2 have. That is, uh, the axes fucking suck. If you're training anyway. You basically need to switch off to another weapon if you ever want to train. Ever, ever want to train. This sh <laughs> the Just the concept of a weapon without AoE is kind of bad for a game like this. Like, they, they changed it a little bit. Like, I think it, if you get, like, in Disgaea 2, uh... You get like an AOE that hits everything around you, I think. Or hits like the four directions around you. Or something like that. And that's only if you get like max level. And I think that was added in the uh, PSP version. I don't know, was it? I, I vaguely recall they added... Hmm. Well, the stream's still Evan. It's still Evan. It's just that, uh, you know, I figured I, I'd change it up for everybody. You wouldn't want the stream to be Evan forever, would you? Hogmeister. What skills do you even learn? Hmm. All good things come to an end. We need a good spear. Hmm. Can I dive into that spear? This level four plus, we can go in. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. We're gonna take this off Bume. Bume doesn't need that. He needs that. Uh Much as I love Etna, uh, let's put on BBB.
I would just like to say, by the way, anything I say about uh, items, etc., anything I say about this game, I'm not very well versed in this game. So, you know, I, I'm probably pretty wrong about a lot of the things I say. I'm just going off in memory. Vague memory. Even with this guy, too, I'm probably pretty wrong on a number of things. And you know what? That That's fine. That's okay. It's fine for me to be wrong about things. Jesus, they're hitting me with that negative... Negative hit. Ooh, that is not good. That's gonna hurt. This is the problem with leveling any character that's... Uh, leveling leveling a group. Yeah, somebody's gonna somebody's gonna be watching. They're gonna they're gonna correct me. They're gonna leave a little comment. And say actually, oh, I'm just playing. Uh, if, if I'm wrong, please tell me. <laughs> if I'm wrong, please tell me for the love of God. It's not a game you want to be wrong on. Or in. You know what? Planera could just walk. Can she? She got pretty... She, she's really close. Yeah, I, I really do love the way that they shade the characters in this. Oh my god. I love Takahiro Harada. He's got such amazing art. If I could draw, I would want to be able to draw like him. What is this? Hypnotist. No lifting symbol. Fuck is this? Whatever. I guess. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to attack with this. I put him back in. I wasn't paying attention. I'll finish this.
This is pretty close to the front lines, but these guys are low levels, so he should be fine. What reminds you of Danganronpa? Oh. I don't really see it. I need more range on these attacks. Stage clear. Oh boy. Uh, that's not Etna. That's uh, that's the brawler class in this game. The female brawler. That's what they look like in this. See, lads, this is why we have the different spells. Oh, you're immune to fire, huh? You know what no one's immune to? Bullets. I like to imagine that whenever, like, Bume is running by, he just makes 
He makes sounds. He makes like those sounds. Like he goes boom as he runs by. Everybody thinks he's like hyper autistic or something. Oh, there's like this whole section over here. Oh my lord, how do you get over there? You don't. That's the answer, you don't. <laughs> yeah, this is this guy one. Hold on. I might actually go make more coffee. I might just do that.
Hello? Yeah, this is this guy one. Uh, not the complete version. The complete version has different graphics where uh, this guy right here would look like, uh, he'd look like uh, the Disgaea 2 and onward version of the male mage. Basically, the difference between this mage and the Disgaea 2 mage is I want to have sex with the Disgaea 2 mage. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. He is cute, though. He is very cute. That's not what a femboy is. What the fuck? I hate- I hate how everything's now, like, referred to as a femboy. Is it- is it even remotely, like, got- I would be effeminate- I would be a fucking femboy by those definite- that kind of definition. What the fuck? I'm not a femboy. Todd Howard would be a femboy. Look at him, he's got such fucking- he, When you look into Todd Howard's eyes, you just feel the, the effects of sissy hypnosis. It's been ongoing for five years. It just works. It's not your fault. Todd Howard has been fully sissified and loving it ever since Skyrim released for the 80th time. He doesn't even accept payment for his work on Skyrim anymore. He just asked them to supply him with more fucking, uh, more HRT. Like, basically, if you don't ha have hyper, uh, gruff, masculine, uh, features, you're a femboy now. I was watching this fucking video a while back. Uh, it got re it got recommended to me, and obviously it would because uh, we were having this conversation about Necron, and somebody made a video called "Redeeming Necron," and it's got to be the most dog shit fucking video on on Necron that could have ever existed. And uh, and they called Kuja a femboy unironically in the video, and it pissed me off. It actually pissed me off. Just the way he said it. Actually, I think they're trans. I gotta say she, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not your fault that I said that. But uh, that pissed me off. That they would call Kuja a femboy. That dude is into fucking chicks, okay? That dude was probably cucking the king of Blindblum. Lit 9 where uh, he seduces and fucks Steiner. There was a scene where he's seen, obviously, he's been he's been running off with the king of Lindblom's wife. That's what the scene was. I know that he was originally, like, intended to be a female, and then they realized it would kind of be a little bit fucked up if we had a scene where uh, you beat a woman in it. Or something like that which is you know they, they just historically do stuff like that but I don't know uh, Kuja is not a femboy for sure he's not dressing up in womanly clothes it's almost like uh, uh, uh. This world pisses me off. This world... This clown world we, we currently reside in pisses me off. Anyway, I apologize for my rant about, uh... About femboys, I guess. Another one, another one that pissed me off that happened a while back. Uh, I was talking to this mentally... <laughs> the, 
Gee, I can't say that because because they they were also trans. I guess a lot of these these uh these interactions happen with like trans people. Uh, but um, I was just talking to other people, and they happened to be there. Uh, and I wasn't. And they they I I think I said, I said something about traps. Uh, I said, I used the word trap and it set this person off and, uh, I can't even repeat what I, I said. I would probably, I would probably get in trouble for repeating what I said to them, but I pissed them, I, I, I pissed them off just as much. <laughs> I, I basically, uh, huh. How in trouble do I want to get with my audience? I said I basically said that trans people can't be can't be uh traps. It's like a square and a it's a square rectangle kind of thing, right? Actually no it's not because they can be completely separate. Trap is just a cute boy that passes. But they were, they were basically saying that it's a slur for, for trans people. Like, like trans, trans was not even in the, uh, it wasn't even in the fucking lexicon until like, I want to say 11 years ago. Like, I, I never, and I mean never heard anybody use those words until uh until like 2012 do you think the replacement of certain classes was a bad choice for yes they only did it because it was easy to do do i believe in the matrix uh no uh i'm not a nihilist sorry I believe all things on all all things in the world have a purpose and a meaning. Uh, I suppose in a way I'm I'm sort of pseudo religious. Uh, agnostic would probably be a better way of putting it. In the sense that I don't really prescribe to any main religion, but uh. It doesn't matter if there's stuff written about it in literature. I don't I don't read literature. There's plenty of literature about weird shit that didn't become popular until later. Just because somebody writes a book about it doesn't mean it's popular. Like it's been around. I'm not saying it hasn't been. What what are transsexuals, right? Don't I better not hear somebody tell me that that's a slur. Because that's uh that's the terminology they were using at that point in time, and they still use it. Some people still use that that terminology. I feel very uncomfortable uh, navigating these kinds of conversation landscapes because what would you call Finster? What is Finster?
I don't know who that is. The streamer that feminized himself and got boobs in the works, but isn't trans and it is still a guy. Well, being transgender is like identification, right? It's specifically a, it's like mental, it's a mentality, essentially, where you believe, wait, why did I throw her down there? What the fuck am I doing? I'm getting distracted by people talking about, uh, gender shit. Uh... But yeah, it's it's completely up to the person in that regard. A person who's trans has gender dysmo uh dysphoria, dysphoria. I don't I don't Okay. It's hard it's hard to describe in in just certain terms, but it, it, it's basically does the person have gender dys dysphoria, right? Do they think that they're a woman? This person doesn't think that they're a woman. They believe that they're a guy. That's... I mean... Trap is passing, right? Trap is basically, you fooled me, you got me. Uh, that's the best way to put it, I guess. Not even necessarily as like a slur, but it's like another way of saying... Do they pass in a way? It's just terminology for that. Like, do they do they fool me when I look at them? Do I do I? Does it make my dick hard uh, when I look at this person? That's kind of what a trap is. That's what the terminology is implying, which I, I guess people take great offense to. Um, God, you! Ha I I really do not feel comfortable talking about this. this, this I'm gonna be honest. Because I don't I don't know like what the, the minefield is these days. Cause it sort of feels like like it, I I don't know, I'm pretty old, so I know a lot of you think I'm I'm young for some reason, but yeah, terminology changed a lot over the years. But you can, um, Zero can sense he's a man, but, yeah. Pop in, and then I said a slur, yeah. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, welcome. I'm sorry that your first experience with stream had to be about me talking about, uh... I suppose, discussion on, on that sort of thing. Uh, it's not something I typically talk about. As a student nurse, I've basically decided that transgenderism is a mental issue. However, like many things, it has become popular to the point that I worry that people are going for it to it for clout. Definitely. Some people are. I guess one thing... I have to, I have to, um, say about transgenderism, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, I've, I've talked to a lot of trans people and some of them, um, it's, it's like an identification with your, with your body, essentially. Like you don't identify with it. My friend has, um, one of my closest friends is trans and he's, he doesn't like, yeah, I'm still working off a of Final Fantasy IX video. Uh, he doesn't tell me to... He doesn't force me to use... Um, to call him a girl or anything like that. But he also doesn't quite know what his ideal body is. He's very relaxed and chill. I didn't get the, the things I wanted in there. He doesn't really identify with his body, if that makes any sense. Even though he's like, he's uh, 
transitioned. Well, he hasn't like um, done operations or anything like that, but basically he just wants to, <laughs> it's, it's really complicated. It's really complicated for a lot of these people. In my opinion, it's personal. To me, only a scale of yes or no and one to 10. We need another Makai Kingdom. The freaking Overlord Zeta needs to make a comeback. My friend lifts a lot. I respect him a lot, actually. He's one of my closest friends. Uh, he just he just basically uh does whatever. He identifies as trans, but he doesn't use pronouns. Um, how deep can I go into here? It's level... Wait, how powerful is this? Yeah, my bag is unsorted as fuck. Well, I didn't get what I wanted out of it, but whatever. Let's go. It's definitely personal, but it, I'm, I'm really worried that people are doing it to fit in or be special. Yeah, I, I completely agree on the stance of surgery. It's not reversible. Uh, it's very concerning to me. In that regard. Why is it so hot? Now I'm all sweaty. Prince, in this heat, Flan's gonna show we find the pendant. Huh? I'm fine. Um yeah, I'm not gonna stop them if they want to do it, but I do uh I do think that doctors have a responsibility to inform them on the risk some of it is uh I'm gonna kill you if you say that angels don't sweat or have to go to the bathroom some of it some of it's actually kind of um disgusting like some of it's coming from the community where they they basically uh lie about a lot of this stuff like yeah um, I don't know if you guys ever followed the um Ever followed the, uh, the, God, what is it called? Uh, R9K Saga. Is it my stream die? One of them gave you medicine? Oh, my stream is dying. Hallucinating. My biggest concern, basically in any regard, uh, when it comes to that sort of thing, is the importance of making sure people are safe, they're fine, they're healthy. No, it's true. I feel much better now. Okay, which one of them was it then? Like I, I, I actually like, like I, I, I did say. No, I'm not going to stop people from getting surgery if they really, really want to. But I don't agree with it in any regard. Um. Yeah, they're really big in this. They're really different uh, in this this um, this game. Okay, so there is like this... Uh, there is this guy who is tricking people into transitioning, like blackmailing them. Uh... <laughs> Ah, jeez. Actually, somebody covered this uh, more recently. Um, but there is this uh, there is this saga where this guy was basically tricking people into uh, into transitioning. Like he would blackmail them into transitioning uh, because he was sexualizing it, 
And not only that, but some of the people who were working with him were uh, basically people who wish they had transitioned earlier in life. That sort of deal. So they were justifying it with that kind of uh, messed up mentality where it's like, I'm actually helping these people out. Uh, and they were they were targeting some of the most vulnerable people on the Internet, like uh, people who are, are on R9K. It's a board on 4chan. Basically, it's where incels go, but like incels, uh, like incels are very vulnerable. Like um, they, I, I would I would say these people are very damaged, and some of you uh, might be making fun of them, but uh, y you know they've basically just kind of like a lot of these people are. It's like it's it's a bad view on life in a way, but it's also like it, it's like a chronic thing that kind of ruins their life. Like, they didn't choose to be incels, they just kind of, you know, that whether it be from bad choices or bad life decisions, they've kind of found themselves in this permanent negative state, I guess, that they can't escape from, at least from their own perspective. Like, maybe with some help, but... I'm telling the truth. You know, to have somebody go, go on that board and, like, prey on them, that's actually disgusting. No, 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 not, I mean, like, I guess to some extent it was, it was bullying, but they were specifically going there to, like, posting, posting threads about transitioning and inviting them to discords, and once people join these discords, they would be like, oh, well, you know, put this stuff on, like, they'd convince them to put on, like, uh, like, maid outfits and stuff, and then they would, uh, dox them, essentially. Oh, I, I never healed him they dox him them and then you know their lives would be kind of ruined essentially like either you transition fully or we're going to post these images of you in this maid dress uh we're gonna send them to your parents that kind of disgusting behavior now, obviously like um not all of it like i don't think I, god I, I actually don't remember anything about the guy who who was a. Uh, essentially the ringleader but uh like some of the people helping him you can see in the posts they're they're essentially like doing it because they think that they're helping people to transition earlier and they wish that they they had transitioned earlier because they can't really do it uh as well as they would like to now and yeah, most incels are not like elliot roger I don't support that sort of uh, viewpoint. I think everybody in in life needs to uh, have essentially a good relationship with uh, with family and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, like at least one family member who's of the opposite gender. That way, you don't turn out completely fucked. You, you're like you have like a good relationship with somebody, and you can at least like the situation right now is pretty bad for men. I think, but. You know, you at least need to have, like, a relationship with family. Like, some somebody. Somebody who's a woman, essentially. Who can, um, level you out. And I think this goes for both, you know, it goes for both genders. Like, basically, if the genders just communicated, a lot of problems would be solved overnight. <laughs> and said there's a lot of, uh... Like gaslighting and people saying stuff like it's all women, etc., or it's all men who do this. I'm just playing normally, this is just my normal playthrough. Um, although, I guess a more normal playthrough for me would be power leveling with Harl and just killing everything uh, before I even leave this chapter. That's what a more uh, normal playthrough for me is. 
I'm just I'm just that kind of guy. I go I fucking speed through, <laughs> speed through the game. Usually anyway. But I'm doing the story. And I'm just having fun. I'm talking to you guys. We're talking about um really uncomfortable topics though. And I'm just fixated on it. I'm fixated on it. It's my fault we're still talking about it. Even if you're gay, you still need to have a good relationship with with women. You need to have a good relationship with both genders, in my opinion. Of course, that's my opinion, but... Man, why did I walk him all the way over here? That's a lot of guys. Well, Harl right now is just sitting on the blacked couch. He's waiting to get fucked. What happens if Laharl actually beats those all those strong uh, monsters in that one chapter? Yeah, I also agree with that. Oh, post post reveal. Post reveal of my Aetna folder. For those of you not in on the joke, uh hmm? I guess I already... You ever mix up some of the options you did? You confused? That's what just happened. Oh, uh, this is just, uh, this is one off. I'm basically gonna, gonna review this at some point. It's probably gonna be, uh, the next game I review because... I don't know, the Final Fantasy IX, uh, review seems like it's gonna be very long. Uh, no, I didn't, but I heard it also had um, EXP bonuses. I, I actually like uh, I like the idea of the cheat shop, but at the same time, uh, Sky One, hmm. In a way, that would make it. Would it if they just made it as fast as uh, the Sky Two is? That would be fine, I think. Uh, yes, actually. I do think that more SRPGs should have crazy combat. Like, it doesn't even have to be, like, ultra crazy, right? It just has to be at a point where the mechanics are different enough. If they just made it as fast as uh, Disguise 1, or Disguise 2, I think it would be fine. And a lot of people pass this off, but Disguise 2 has, like... Disguise 2 has higher level monsters in it than 1 does, which makes it kind of faster. Like, the process of playing the game is faster because you're leveling up faster. 
There's higher level enemies to kill. So the grind to 9,999 is a lot quicker. I don't have exact numbers on this, but like think about it for a moment. The enemies you're killing in Disgaea 1 are like what? What is a... Uh, I actually don't know off the top of my head what the highest level is. But I do remember comparing it, and it's like a thousand plus level difference on the in-game enemies. People don't like the, um, they don't like the systems that came with it, though. Such as, uh... Oh, geez, what is it called? She's dead, isn't she? No? Okay. People don't like, um... They don't like felonies, is what it was. They don't like felonies, but felonies are not actually bad, I don't think. I think it kind of balances out with how much uh, how much you have for in terms of options. There is one thing that I will say about this guy too, and that's that the uh, in-level grind map kind of sucks. Because it's a 2x4 uh, grid. I wouldn't say felonies are great. They're a very interesting mechanic. I don't think anybody would be complaining if they... All My only complaint about felonies is that they needed a in-game felony. They needed something that's in-game, like... Um, in-game, not in-game. In case uh, anybody misunderstood what I was saying. But there, there's... There's only like, there's 20, you could, you could have these felonies that give you 20 felonies. That's not enough. I need something for endgame. I need something that's going to be like an insane, like, uh, thing that I do. Because 20, 20 weapon mastery is just insanely easy to get, uh, for one. And for two, it's not really a lot. Yeah, you should be able to get... You should basically be able to get a felony for having 99 felonies on a character. That would be cool. You get 99 felonies for... Or you get all, like all these fel felonies for having... Um, you get like an additional felony. Like maybe 30, 40... One time... Actually, no. That that would be insane. But it's one. It, if, it, if it was one time across your whole party... Then that would be fine. But uh, I can see that being an issue if you... Uh, for the whole group, because then, then like everybody's already stacking felonies. Uh, Forty times eight is like. <laughs> Think about that for a moment. Forty times eight—that's how many felonies you would get, basically, for throwing. Well, probably nine actually. I forget what what's the max dispatch. It might actually be higher than that. It's probably like eleven, maybe. I don't remember the max dispatch. Uh, but uh, another thing is like, give me a felony for reaching max level. Like, what are you doing? Where Where is my max level felony? Where's my insane, like, super high stat felony? Like, I, I have... I have characters that have been, like, grinding for, for an insane amount of time, and they can't get any more felonies. They can't get any more felonies. They're, they're fucking swollen as hell, but they stopped getting felonies, like, 50 hours ago or something. Like, I should be basically uh, paraded as God, and they should give me a felony. Uh, they should give me, like, a one-time felony for killing um, for killing Ball or something, where it's like, oh, you get, like, a hundred felonies. Like, nobody would fucking complain about felonies if they gave out insane shit, like, constantly for doing, like, these big things, like... You know, like, if there was, like, a post-game thing where I could just farm, like, this area. No, felonies, uh, felonies replace, felonies replace statisticians in Disguise 2. And the reason people complain about it is because it's just not as fast as, um, Disguise 2's, is, or Disguise 1's, uh, statistician system. So even though the EXP overall is faster, uh... People don't like it. They don't like it because statisticians just are easier to get. 
they're more accessible and you can trade statisticians across the board ultimately i think that the if they just fleshed it out a little bit and made it easier to get felonies like in the post game and i didn't have to like do weird shit to get felonies um like make characters and get them to like level 20 like do a fucking 20 attack uh 20 weapon spam uh with arm master 9 900 or some shit like that uh yeah they're like the exp citizens but they also do other things the the um the felony system actually is really cool um for what it does it does more than just exp it affects your endings uh it makes you more respectable as a senator it allows you like they they they, they went more in on like the senator stuff like you could become an actual senator and you could propose bills in in um well not propose you could listen to other people's bills is what it was uh and you could pass them based off of that which i think Honestly, I'd love to see make a return, but it's like a it's a Disgaea two only thing. I'm looking for your pendant. The least you could do is tell me. Well, I guess it's okay. No, it's not. Well, Master Lamington, the Seraph, is a very kind person. He loves flowers and poems. Yeah, I wish he didn't cover the, the character profile picture either. Now, wait a second. I don't want to hear about his weak points. <laughs> hmm. So you look up to the Seraph? Wait. Did I misread what Laharl said? Yes, of course. Is there someone that you look up to? Me? The late king. What? Then you don't look up to me? Nope. Why you? You call yourself a vassal? Yeah, sort of. My, my stream gets derailed by me talking about random shit so often. It's the power of ADHD. Someone teach you some manners. Enough of this. Let's find that pendant. This must be infuriating as a viewer. I say this because, like, uh, Tsuvia has specifically complained to me about this. So I imagine he can't be the only one, right? I need to learn or to level Etna up. She's super low level. I'm not even sure I can kill that. That's how low level she is. She's not a direct uh, learner here. Hold on, let's. My thoughts on Makai Kingdom. I think it's quite a bit slower than Disgaea, but it's actually got some really fucking cool ideas, like the um, the ability to like. Just a lot of it is really cool, actually. Um, 
But in particular... It is insane that they just let you drop uh, drop buildings down. And most of the time it doesn't even do anything. Because you're just dropping like your building down and then it gets destroyed. But like... A lot of the time it's... it's well, I mean, it's just like a cool feature. Like you can drop down a mech from what I remember or something like that. I remember there was some sick use of it. Use for it. The fact that you can also like make your healer um your healer is like the the healer in the hub world and they level up whenever you um they level up whenever you heal you know from battle that is cool that's like a cool idea too like they i mean it's a little bit busted and but you know like just there's a lot of uh cool things in makai kingdom just uh like ideas that they had it feels. Uh, I don't feel like doing the rest of this map, to be honest. <laughs> I don't feel like waiting for these guys to come. Let's just skip the map. I just feel like skipping the map. Uh. Damage 20. I don't feel like going all the way to kill these guys. You can suck my dick. And I might get hurt though. Oh no. And that's dead. Don't you just hate it when characters die because they countered? These guys can chase me down now. This is cat and mouse time. Oh, healers don't heal from using heal in this. They don't level from using heal. Hey. When are we gonna play Trulip? When are we gonna play Tulip? Yeah. Are you sure you're not using Tulip as a, uh... Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not, I swear. Last time you asked to play Tulip, mm -hmm. you, you asked to play Roblox right after. No, I didn't. I played Tulip for a good hour. You didn't play it for an hour. Yes, I did. You did not. You didn't, you didn't get any anywhere in Tulip. You lie. I do not lie. You lie? I do not lie. I'm streaming this guy right now. Uh -huh. This is my other niece. This is a uh, middle niece. Her name. No. She doesn't no. want. I won't say your name. She doesn't want to he have her name said. So, she's the middle niece. She's my cool niece. I'm, I'm, I'm the coolest out of all of them because Elizabeth sucks. Yeah, she wants to. She wants to play Chula. Chula. The PS2 game. Chula. I showed it to her the other day. Yeah. I showed it to, the, her, to her the other day and she thought it was cool. Now she asked me, uh... She 
he asked me to, to play it. Let me save, actually. We're, we're about to do the in chapter. I don't want to be caught off guard by something overpowered. Yeah, Tulip's really cool. is probably breathing her last breath now I I 100% that game She could have lived a long well, life I mean I got all the kisses I don't know if there's anything else I missed <laughs> That fool No one can stop me now but what? the pendants shining <laughs> God damn it, Juan! I can't believe you you did the old the old uh, the old burning <laughs> burning pendant on me. Ow. What is this? Ow! Oh, that hurt! Who threw this? That was dangerous. Hmm? Oh, this is a beautiful pendant. It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior. I thank you, oh God. Moron. What demon thanks a god? Huh? Who just called Moa a moron? Me. Oh, what a lucky day indeed to be able to confront my rival once again. Uh, wait a second. Since when did I become your rival? If you've ever heard of, um... You're still pestering us? We beat you already, remember? I'll wait until this cutscene's over. You should never assume that I am dead. Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis. The Dark Adonis. <gasps> my pendant! Hmm? What a lovely mademoiselle. You recognize this pendant? Please, Mr. Midboss, may I have the pendant? It's mine! Oh, with all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. I need it! I beg of you! I... I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. Man, he's as low as the prince. Shut up! Don't put me on the same level as him! Oh my! The pendant will punish those with a wicked heart! Yes. Yes, she is. I went on I went on V the other day. And there's there's this thread. <laughs> it was the funniest thread I ever saw. Well not ever. But uh somebody somebody was asking, somebody made a thread asking. Are the games actually any good? All I ever see anyone post about on these thre on these threads is Etna, is about how sexy Etna is, and for the rest of the thread, it was just people talking about how much they love Etna. I swear to God, <laughs> just people like oh my, just say just saying shit like sex with Etna exclamation point and posting pictures of Etna, stuff like that. Uh, Edna's just, in general, really popular. She's one of the most popular characters in the series. If you don't like, I, I play the games, bef uh, like, way, way, way before I ever went on that site. And, uh, you know, I like... It's the kind of girl I like, you know, like, uh, we're... You know, they're, they're, they're dominant, but... You know, not because I'm submissive, but because I want to dominate them. You know, that that kind of that kind of uh, that kind of girl. Well, not just girls. What's the deal here? Isn't he supposed to be punished? There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of chemistry like that. Yes. And you have um. 
have two people who are who are uh, strong-willed. They kind of fight like that. You know, they go back and forth. Not necessarily fighting, but you know, they go back and forth. <laughs> Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. Uh, I gotta correct you there, Senior Apples. Etna would sell Flan's feet picks on OnlyFans. Or she would, she would like, she would force her, she would like put fake feet on her, on her, um, on her printies or something. She would like femboy her, her printies up. She would, uh, she would do that. She would force them to dress in the maid outfit that's... <laughs> She would force them to dress in the maid outfit that's in that's uh in in the place of um of uh what's her face? And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. Edna's the type of person to use uh open AI to generate OnlyFans pictures. Yeah, I think it's canon. Hey, you just admitted that you're a mid boss. Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name mid boss again. Since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat. player two coloring i'm not a fan like i like i like blue but i'm not really a fan of blue on etna i mean it sounds plausible when you look at it from the japanese angle but i would prefer to keep this guy five away from this guy one to be honest i wouldn't i wouldn't hold it against or i wouldn't hold it against uh, Nipponichi to do something that's so pandering. But I would prefer not to believe that Christo is mid-boss. Or not mid-boss, but uh, Lamington. They're not... I mean, Christo is not necessarily a bad character. It's just that this guy of five is so removed. So completely removed from the original like, vision of this guy, it feels almost like it feels dirty. It feel, it actually feels a bit dirty to say that Disgaea 5 takes place in the same, like, I mean, obviously they do, but, like, I mean, like, compare the tone of Disgaea 1 and 5, and you can see where I'm going with this. Like, Disgaea 1 is a lot more grounded than, than 5 is like this guy five is like the setting in this guy five is just gross you go to fucking candy world and all that i'm not a fan it's a it's a wacky fun time world the sky five I need to I need to level Edna up too. I just don't like I mean they look they look alright, but like it, it doesn't do much for me in terms of worlds. Like you expect me to believe that the entire world is like candy. Like I could believe it if it was just like one like nether world and all that, but like I don't know, just like I, I much prefer Veldime. I much prefer Disgaea One's world and Veldime. They feel more consistent. It just like sure, uh, you know, you could argue that some of these levels kind of look a bit boring. Like this one is just like Lava Land, right? But like, there's Lava Land in the in the Nether World, right? It's not not every place needs to be. Dis, like super distinct one of a kind you'd never find this in another video game right 
sometimes you just need to to chill. Like if I was playing any other game, I wouldn't want them to have that kind of world, you know? That's not It's not necessarily a bad thing when a game is level-headed. I mean, sure, but like every, it's like every world that's like that. It's not even just like one, like you wouldn't find me complaining about it if it was like one world where it's Candyland or it's Poison World. It's also the fact that like it's super high saturation and usually I like high saturation. I like, I like when colors are, are vivid and beautiful and, but it's, it's too much. It's too much for me. Obviously, like uh, I've mentioned before, I do love this guy at five, so, you know, it's not a huge deal. It just kind of like. You kind of it, it kind of just doesn't uh, it just makes the world building a little bit worse and it makes me want to specifically is the reason why I'm I'm saying I, I really hope that this guy one and five aren't connected it kind of feels like um, it kind of feels like the whole uh, Final Fantasy 10 2 situation if anybody's familiar with that uh, Years after Final Fantasy ten, like seven was released, they came out and said they they basically added in the lore that uh, Spira of all places, uh, the people of Spira are the ancients of fucking Final Fantasy seven, which is retarded, right? He's probably gonna die. But it's fine, it damages all these units. How powerful are these guys? They got lots of health. Bume is no longer super powerful. I did have a feeling I should have. Oh, we got this character. A drama CD? Isn't it just a book? And yeah, uh, it isn't just that he gets cocked and dies, right? You, you, le you left out how he dies there, which might be one of the most retarded things I've ever heard about. Ever. Uh. Basically, uh, there are these terrorists who are using, they're using, um, they're using blitz balls, bombs that you, that look like blitz balls. And Titus sees one of these, these blitz ball bombs and he kicks it and it explodes and fucking kills him. That, that's what happens in the Final Fantasy X-3 book or whatever the fuck it is. Maybe it is a CD. But I, I, like, it's on the wiki, too. You can look this up. People have documented this. Like, I'm not personally reading it because it sounds dog shit. But. <laughs> why? Because the people, the people at Square can't leave well enough alone. This is why. This is why the, the guy, the guy said, don't. Don't like add on anything to the story. Don't add anything to the story. The story's over. Don't add anything. Don't like be adding extra shit, please. That's what he was saying. 
Yeah, it is really fucking dumb. Hold on. Hold on, we're gonna get a live reading of the, the wiki page for this. I think it's like Final Fantasy 2.5 is what they call it. Or Final Fantasy 10 2.5. Yeah, it's a novel sequel. Final Fantasy X 2.5, Ain no Dasho, or Daisho, my bad. Mages and Assassins from Xanarchand. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me make this visible for you. Okay. Mages and assassins from Xanarkand invaded Besaid, carrying bombs that resembled blitz balls to eliminate the summoners. The guardian Velm vowed to protect his summoner Kush and led his army of soldiers and a group of fake Bedor to fight them. Okay, let's skip ahead a bit to uh, to where blitz ball is invested. Okay, they explore the forest, hoping to find a clue on how to return home when a ball rolls towards them. Titus mistakes it as a blitz ball and runs toward it while looking around for its owner. <laughs> it explodes, Titus uh, killing Titus, and then Yuna passes out from the shock. <laughs> uh... Okay, now Titus is in, or Yuna is interacting with God, her, God himself or some shit. To bring Titus. Titus comes back or something. I don't know exactly how it works here. Titus comes back to life. He looks, Titus comes back to life too. This is an actual novel. It is a novel sequel to Final Fantasy 10 uh, 10 2. 10 2. It was released on December 26, 2013 to commemorate the release of Final Fantasy 10 slash 10 2 HD remaster. It ends with the words to be continued, the story being followed up in Final Fantasy 10 will. What is what the fuck is this? Oh, it's an audio drama. That's what you were talking about. Oh my god. Okay, so there is an audio drama. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's some real brush shit right there. <laughs> I, I I had to bring it up. I had to uh, bring that up because, you know, like, th that's one of those things where people probably won't believe you. Like, even if, even if you guys just accepted it in the stream, you would probably be thinking about it later on and thought I was bullshitting you or something. It's like, there's no way. There's no fucking way. Mint Condition lied to me. Or you'd be you'd be talking to your friends about it, and then you'd have a hard time finding it, because it's not called Final Fantasy X-3 or something. Yeah, it sounds really ridiculous. It's almost like it shouldn't have been a thing they did. Yeah, uh, people people are really excited for the potential um, Final Fantasy IX remake. I am not, not only because uh, this company is dog shit now, but because it's just not gonna work. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna work. These people will ruin it. They will ruin it. Uh, the people working at um, at Square do not care anymore about the series. They don't. Sorry if that offends anybody. They just don't care. They, I actually think that the people working at Square are some of the least talented people uh, nowadays. They're hacks. Artistic hacks that can only destroy. They can only destroy uh, what, what is essentially the old works. 
in terms of in terms of the um new the old games i don't know um Honestly, I don't know if they'll ever recover or if this is like the best they can do. Who knows? Maybe Final Fantasy uh, 16 will be good. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'm going to enjoy it because it doesn't look like Final Fantasy, but it's possible. Hogmizer is going to get used. I was thinking about this, by the way, but uh, if Hogmizer was a character released in modern Disgaea, he would actually be the fucking worst. Because he would talk about money every second, and you know it, I know it. It would be, it would definitely, it would be all he fucking talks about. Money. He would be a character that would get in, injected into like normal conversation like Blaharl and, and Flan would be doing whatever, Edna would be there too and then every so often like maybe in this scene like like they're talking with mid boss and randomly this guy says mm, this is going to hurt my stocks or some shit like that. Something completely out of place for the scene, because uh, because modern day modern day uh, Nippon Ichi, modern day Nippon Ichi, they don't they don't know uh, they don't know I guess when to to not have a character say things. <laughs> this will have a negative effect on the economy. <laughs> I wish you had told me about this earlier, Prince. I I could have I could have dumped all my stocks. <laughs> Yeah, where's the where's the Hogmiser uh, NFT NFT arc? He's he's got like he's got an arc where he tries to sell the prints on NFTs. Am I gonna clear it out by the Dark Adonis himself, mid boss? But of course. Adonic blast. Oh wait, he's just, he can he can attack both of them. Shit. Uh, I have no healer now. I have no healer. Uh. I uh, know. I don't think it's because of the localization. Glizzy Goblin, we need you now. Get Flan's ass over there now.
She's gonna die like next turn. Hey, Beast Peter, welcome to the stream. We're talking about all your favorite topics, but you weren't here. Yeah, the real question here, do you think that, uh, do you think that, uh, Etna would betray Lahara if she knew that, that, uh, mid-boss was, um, the reincarnation of Lahara's father? Yeah. No, I mean hypothet hypothetically hypothetically uh like Alternate universe, he returns as the Overlord. But the print, but uh, Loharo still wants to be the Overlord. You have a headache from ice cold water? Sounds like you need to deal with more ice cold water, my friend. There's a target height problem for this move, huh? I have an easy solution for this. Oh wait, she's here by default. Take care, man.
down. Hold on, maybe I can equip her with something that will make her live longer. No. How screwed am I? Maybe I should have had her attack first. Uh, this is not good. Oh, I hate that. I hate that he was able to just counter counter. My characters always counter when they're gonna fucking die. Ah. Okay, he dies next turn, assuming nothing bad happens. Here. Why would you do that? Ah! What new weapon type would I like to see in Disguise games? Hmm. I don't know, I feel like a lot of the new weapon, like any weapon type I could think of would be like a subtype. Like polearm is just like its spear, but like there's no like there's no purpose to making Yeah, well, no, I'm playing this. I'm gonna have to get out from my stream, though. You were in here before. Not this one yet, not today's. You were in the last one. Yeah, that's the point. I think he'll kill. Please kill. Please kill. Is Lennon there? Huh? Is Lennon watching? No, probably. Huh? Is Lennon watching? No, Len's not watching. Oh, they were here. Oh, they were. Oh, yeah, flails. That would kind of make sense. What's going on? Hi. Hi. He's got back back from Sacramento. Don't make me 
make such a pitiful face. Isn't this cool? <laughs> Isn't this what you're looking for? Laharo! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. Oh. Nunchucks the pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. I think they meant nunchucks. Yeah, that's what he meant. Okay. That's good to know. He's talking about like the potential for more weapon types in this series. Why? If you think this game looks cool, you could play the sequel. I have it on my Vita right now. Hmm? You good? <laughs> I'll never be able to convince my nieces to try this guy. Why did you do all that for the pendant? Rawr. There's only one. Rawr. 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 You should say ala ala. I'm not saying that on stream. Damn it! Huh? <laughs> the best pretty scenes would make a good video. I like the wand and the gear. I think if I made a video like that, it would all be. It, it would all be them dying five from like in-game content. So it says five is best. Yeah, this guy at five is really good. From you. I really like this guy too, though. <laughs> Feels really solid the whole way through. This guy at five is pretty fun, but you know, it takes a lot of weight so off the level. What are you trying to whisper in my ear? I can't hear it. Oh, it's just there. Yeah, that's there. Thank you, Laharo. Prinnies. Prinnies are amazing. I told you not to talk like that. It's giving me the chills. Just give me my reward. Uh, still watching for the third remaining complete this Oh, you're waiting for D2, 3, and 1, huh? a while ago i'm gonna go cry myself to sleep are you okay uh he just he just had a shower and, and cold ja uh cold water came out now he wants to cry to sleep <laughs> oh uh, do i oh, have to spell it out sounds like a the reward give me the something good you promised me oh you mean like for them to to release release them on the on scene Thought you were talking about the reviews for a second. Oh, that. What? <gasps> How's your finger? How's your finger? How's my finger? Yeah. I don't know. I think you. I think you might have hit me too much yesterday. Uh, uh, I uh. I specifically this I arm. I said, "How's your finger?" My finger's all right. When I woke up today, uh, my it arm, sore. yeah, it was sore, and I wasn't sure if it was because I worked out or what, but it was a different kind of sore. It wasn't like super, super bruised, and it was only in my, it didn't feel like a bruise, but it didn't feel like uh, muscle exhaust, like my. I can classics ball for having this green tune. Oh, that sounds fun. I already gave Pretty classics is volume four. Yeah, printies are amazing. You like printies now, huh? What? But, but Ass Eater is a good one. Ass Eater is not a printie. I know, but it's a good character. Like yeah, it is a good character. Heart. And the Glizzy Goblin. Yeah, the Glizzy Goblin threw some of my characters. Through? Yeah, there's a throwing mechanic in this. They're really, oh. Your character is really fast. My character? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my character threw some of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's great danger to find this pendant. Are those printies? No. The they don't have the maid dress. These guys are these guys are printies. They just don't have a maid dress on. They need their maid dresses. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if y'all see the glizzy goblin at all, it's my character. I named it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is my reward for you. But hi. I randomly joined the stream now. <laughs> Yeah, this is my niece. Yeah. I was in Are the last insane? one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Are you crazy? insane? Yeah. yeah babe. Is Are you so insane? The day is near when you mm -hmm. will awaken to love. <laughs> Do you need the Lizzie? Uh, Glizzy with the G. Glizzy the Lizzie. 
Wait, there's a character called Glizzy Goblin. Yes, um, I named that character. Yeah. I've been tricked by an angel. Yo, you need to get Lemon back in. Can you see if you can get Lemon back in there? Oh, Len, Len will be here eventually. He'll join. Damn it. He's I'll probably working or something. This. Probably. That's why my that's my sister's name, Lizzie. Lizzie is your sister's name. That's not my name. It gets shortened to that though. Yes, my sister, I am. that's my. I now know that your sister's there is name is Elizabeth. Uh, that's like the modern version of us asking. What is? is love inside him, that means there is love in What's all the teams? modern version of ass eater? Glizzy Goblin. I think that's what he's talking about. Uh, are you talking about my character? The modern right. version of ass eater? I call her Blizzard and Lizard. Oh. I got that on. I got Lizard from Tracy on one of my Christmas gifts. She thought it would be a funny joke, but she told me ahead of time so it wasn't funny. But she told me that she wrote Lizard on one of my gifts. Yeah. Boy, that theory been... is a bit out there. You really are the a The fuck is freak. Etna talking about? Oh, did um, hmm? did Lennon ever start the Etna club? I think he did. He yeah, might've. he did, but you're, you're not in the Edna club, are you? He didn't invite me. Okay, so so someone who was on here earlier legit made an Etna club, and it was funny. She thinks. I think she's cool. She thinks I think. Oh, cool. Most Whatever. Choke you from behind without a Garden. second thought. Mm. Ow. Are you like that, Etna? Maybe. Oh, You'll these are pretty dates. Soon enough. <laughs> Isn't the next chapter where the two girls get offended by being called flat? Yeah, probably. Eh. Sounds Damn funny. Damn, Damn, this person must hate. Than I first thought. <laughs> it seems that she is in fact manipulated. Was he an apple seeder string bit. yesterday or no? Edna is into choking. I see a lot. Whoa. I must return to Celestia and devise a new plan. By the way, what I said was I forgot what I said. Oh, I said oh, no. I forgot what I said. Okay. Okay. Ownership. Consider yourself lucky this time. I, Volcanus, shall emerge victorious mm -hmm. in the end. <laughs> now you really do look like a goblin. Oh, what? This is just the way you hunched your shoulders like this. <laughs> I feel like if Vulcan, whatever his name, Volcanus was looking to her, he would be a rag racist. What's a rag racist? <laughs> Even if I don't make an appearance for a while. Oh. Yeah. Be even more racist. Man, how is this guy still an angel? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. But I was also wondering like, uh... Jeez, can I even talk about this on stream? I guess it's like a, a spoiler, but like... Uh, regarding... No. Hmm? Don't spoil it. I mean, it's, it's like, it's almost a two decade old game at this point. I was gonna like talk about this guy too. Like it has the, it has somebody who reincarnates and like they were they were like they did a lot of evil shit before they they reincarnated. Like how did did they just? Out from being an angel, if I remember, I have no idea. Uh, well, I mean, Flan does. She gets kicked out. I'm gonna go get more of that coffee. Okay, I'll just chill here. One by one, the rotten peaches are losing their confidence at the hands of the dark You can listen to this. It'll be over in a second. Let's all play fair now. Okay. What? The shadows of the dugout. A mysterious creature appears, awakening the peaches. Okay. Hello. I just took over a stream now. 
play with fire. How was your guys' day going? Oh. That doesn't slut. Huh? Hello. Is this not baseball? <laughs> Wokeness probably server shown the sides of him. Other angels like him, I guess. I have no idea. Right now, get to level 9,999 before he gets back. Uh, fine. Weren't you gonna go get more coffee? Yeah. I wanna okay. use the restroom, too. Ah. Uh, hello. Um, speed around the screen real quick. Just wander around. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm chilling here until he gets back. Um, I want Lennon back. Tempted to go on his Discord and text Lennon. But besides that, um, how's your guys' days going? I'm just, I'm just asking random questions while I wait for him to get back. Bop, 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 bop. You just woke up. Um, I've been up since like eight this morning, so wow. Alright, I'm back. He's back with his coffee. Mm, my day has been fine. That's good. Release his shinies. Oh wait, wrong game. I'm bored. You're bored? Ow! Oh, you okay? How many hours is that? I have no idea. It's all right for the most part. Uh, that's good. I asked him how their days was. Oh. Uh, speed run this guy real quick. Oh, my niece just abandoned somebody she was in the call with. <laughs> huh? No, I said you were abandoning your friend for the stream. And that is the type of person to kick somebody in the nuts. Uh, well, of course. And that's the flashed bitch. Huh? And that's the flashed one there. The flashed one? Yeah, she's the flashed bitch. Don't be mean. This is the Etna. This is the Etna fan club. Everybody here loves Etna. Every single person in the stream loves Etna. You would probably get along with you would you would do some of the stuff that Etna does if you were in her position. Like what? Uh Etna Etna uh Etna messes with people. Etna just ki she was talking about kicking somebody in the in the nuts a second ago. Oh, I have done that before. You've done that before. Yeah, see? You would do things like that. Don't expose me on stream. You buzzo. And come on. My niece keeps hitting me. Guys, send help. I'm gonna be abused. I'm being abused. And it's in the same spot every time. <laughs> Stop hitting me in the same spot. <laughs> Don't hit me in the back of the neck either. That's that's the bad <laughs> spot to hit somebody in. Yeah. I feel like I feel like uh I'm feel I feel like I'm I'm the guy in the romantic comedy, uh, the Japanese romantic comedy. You know how the women always beat him up? They always beat him up. That's my that's what my niece is doing to me. <laughs> Every time I say something she doesn't like. <laughs> Yo, I'm a ditch y'all. I'm gonna go back to my room and call someone. Okay. It's too late. Bye. If yeah. Lennon joins, yell for me. You want to talk to Len? Yeah. Len's cool. You like Len. And it was funny when he had to do the thingy for two minutes and he juggled so much. He's like, oh, you know, David got me out of my chair because I needed to anyways. Weren't you already out of the, uh, 
Oh, did he just tell you about that? Huh? Oh, yeah. I thought she was, she was out of the room, but I guess Len told her about that. Yeah, uh, somebody had to do horse dance for, uh, for Maude yesterday. What are you two laughing about? I can hear you from across the castle. It's, uh, my controller is not working anymore. Hold on. Huh? Why isn't it? Uh, work, please? Work? Let's uh unplug it first, and then replug it. And you guys can hear these sounds, but that's fine. Worst comes the worst, I'll plug in my um my switch controller. Dude died. His soul is leaving his body. I didn't know you were into that kind of thing. I'm a bit shocked. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? It's a humiliating photo of you. I can see that. But who the hell took it? By the way, something's written on the back. What? <coughs> Dear Prince Lahara, an embarrassing photo of you is in my possession. I await your arrival in Jotunheim. If you choose to decline my challenge, copies of the photo will be scattered throughout the netherworld. It is my wish to contend for overlordship in a fair, agreeable manner. You can see the, the aggression when he says fair, agreeable manner. Damn it! Fair, agreeable manner? This is playing dirty. But isn't that the demon way? True, but this crosses the line. So, are you going or not? It's definitely a trap. Of course I'm going. If this picture is spread throughout the netherworld, I'll be ruined. Whoever you are, you just wait. I'll char you and your paparazzi shots in the eternal flames of hell. Episode 5, Etna's Secret. Man, I wish I could I could jump. Okay. I saw a portrait of the king in Hogmiser's palace. My heart aches when I look at his majesty's face. Do my memories have something to do with the king? I'll find out soon enough. Just a little longer until I get my memories back. This is all for my memories. It won't do any good feeling guilty now. I have nothing more to lose. Who cares about anyone else? I have my own way of life. No one's gonna get in my way. This is my only option. Yeah, it's uh it's Laharl's it's Laharl's body shopped onto the into, onto this printy's body. That's embarrassing. That's something a demon would do. They would if they had Photoshop, it would Oh my lord. They would they would be using it. Jotunheim. Well, the gate that leads there is being opened. 
from the other side. It's as if someone were waiting for you, Prince. <laughs> a confident foe, isn't he? Very well, this may be a trap, but I'll enjoy it anyway. Yeah, we're gonna have to grind. Uh, you guys saw last chapter, it was a struggle to survive. Uh, the enemies were levels above me. Basically. Laharl's real weakness. Just make sure I did the right one. We don't talk about that in the folder anymore, guys. No more. No more at in the folder. It's banned. I'm sorry. What do you mean? There's no Etna folder. It's only a, a bannable offense to talk about that in the folder. That doesn't mean that there is one. There, there isn't. Of course. Of course there isn't an Etna folder, guys. Don't, don't be silly. Oh, it's an it, it's a stream joke from last uh, from from yesterday. Uh, it actually happened again, by the way, a similar thing. Uh, and part of it was because my niece was on the lookout for an Etna folder at this point, because you guys actually uh, kept talking about it in stream, <laughs> etc. Hey, Len. My niece was actually wanting to uh, talk to you. The uh, the one that... The uh, Glizzy Goblin herself. She was in here earlier. She, she said, Let me know if Len is in here. He's cool. So my niece likes you, Lynn. Don't let her know. Okay. She comes in here and she gets mad at me. It's your fault. I'm telling her you specifically asked for it. <laughs> watching my stream? No. Len just got here. Len! <laughs> Len! 
Are you watching the stream? Hi. Are you mod are you psychically connected to me? Do you uh -uh. do you know? Hi. Hi Lennon. Hi. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah. Lennon is the person that I had to watch him do horse dance just to get mod for my brother's stream. Oh, he got he got mod he got mod on the Discord as well. Yeah. She keeps moving the mic. Hi. <laughs> chaotic. My 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 niece would be chaotic. I bet your chaotic finger neutral. Yesterday. Huh? You I what? bet your finger yesterday. Yeah, she would be anywhere from chaotic neutral to chaotic good in terms of D and D alignment. D and D. Yeah, we can do that on my school by Monday. I promise to abuse the power. He's abu he's gonna abuse the power. You're not gonna abuse the power, or else my brother will figure out where you live and go beat your fucking ass. Oh, uh, I mean, I just I just remove him as, as admin if he did that. I promise. Lennon, you, you don't want to lose your admin. You have to do horses for two minutes. No! When did that bitch get in there? She really doesn't like you, Nick. Go fucking die, you dumb little shit bag. You dumb fucking bitch. D don't say that on my stream. I don't care. Be nice. These are... I'm not going to be nice to Nick, but I'll be nice to Lennon. Well, you don't have to be mean. You don't have- you can be neutral, too. I'm making Lennon my favorite. Len's your favorite? Yeah, Len's my favorite. <laughs> Nick, go die in the hole! He- she- she's mad you trolled her. No, I'm just- I'm not mad at him, I just hate him. You just hate him. There's a big difference, Nick. There's a big difference between being mad and... ...hating someone, I guess. You quit your job? That was pretty fast. Your job suck? Or is this gonna kill him? Nope. Okay, good. I'll finish this. I didn't have to do that, but I did anyway. I feel like you're just talking about the United States. The uh, the solution to such employers would to be to get the government involved, but the government doesn't want to get involved, partially because uh, they're being paid off. Uh, but the thing is, is, um, it's, uh, it's really the people's fault because we're supposed to be holding them accountable and we're not really doing that. Yeah, we live in a society, basically. You're right. We truly live in a society. Society...
Mm. I'm thinking about this right now. I should probably level up the good, the good, the good folks, the good ones, you know? The OGs. Mega Eyes. I need to level up Ass Eater real bad. The Harl's uh, alright because he's level 11. He's level 16, and everybody else here is like, yeah. It's kind of funny that my, my niece likes Ass Eater. I gotta admit, that's that's funny. What do you mean? The government is integral to any society. Basically, you can have any... You could have any any sort of system work. It just requires the right people. But the thing is, is that the government isn't the right people. Uh, at least the people that we have in office. Uh, they aren't doing their fucking job. I don't consider that a band-aid fix. I, I consider that the bare minimum for any functional society. It doesn't matter if we have any anything else, as long as the wrong people are in uh, charge, you're never going to enjoy your life. I'm sorry. Hi. So long as you're at the bottom, anyhow. Hey, welcome to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to this. Welcome back to the stream, Izzy. Who's Izzy? There, Lizzy. I'm sorry. Uh. We're, talk we're talking about crazy stuff right now. Okay. Why are you using uh, these to make up the, um, yeah, the Glizzy Goblin? Why are you Glizzy Goblin? Glizzy Goblin or Bestie? No, no, if you're not my Bestie, but Lennon could be my Bestie. You won't, can't. Bastard. <laughs> Ah, I see. Len says that's pretty pog. What's going on, Len? The whole point of Disgaea 4, uh, might makes right. Hmm? How many likes does this video have on the live? Oh, it's a, it's a stream, so it doesn't really matter. Can I see? Would you like to see a more impressive video? Sure. More impressive? Uh, let's see. Because for a stream, uh, hold on, let's see. This has 11, this has 11 likes, but it's not what I normally do. Let's see, uh, let's look at this one. This one has 426. Why would I show her that? She's not into this guy. I don't need to give the I don't need to give my nieces ammunition against me. You know, it just occurred to me that somebody asked about this guy at four earlier and I I don't think I responded to them. <laughs> but I have a review for it.
Hey, Tabby. Okay. And I never got the opportunity to even learn. Well, did you check to make sure it's in what game? Which uh, game are you playing? I'm playing X and Y. X and Y. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably eventually get to it. I'm streaming, by the way. I'm talking to other people. Um. Yeah, I'll probably eventually get to it. I was thinking about it because I found out that there's a way to stream from my Vita. And you know, that's plausible for me. I can stream from my Vita. It's a good time. I need, I need better range options. I really do. Hey, what's up? What's up, Len? Emulate. Emulate the Vita. The Vita is the best version of that game. Like, I don't think you understand how much, like, how absolutely barren this guy at 4 and 3 were on release. Uh, you cannot, like, play the PS3 version. That is not an acceptable way to play the game. I'm sorry. If you're playing the PS3 version of this, of this guy at 3 and 4, you are not playing the version people on, on Vita are playing. Use it for gameplay? You mean the incomplete gameplay? Disgaea 3 is... Disgaea 6 is the new Disgaea 3. I'll put it that way. Although, there's a lot that I did like about 3. But, <clears throat> essentially what we got was... They... They created a new system they were going to use uh the PSP version PS Vita the PSP the PS Vita version yeah I like Mal Mal has the best design out of the main characters wait did I heal me okay I'm kind of retarded so you guys are gonna have to put up with that it's got a brain too let me Oh, what game? What was the game? That's this guy five. What's that? Uh, it's the fifth game in the series for this. Ah, nice. Which one are you playing now? This is this guy one. It's the are first you, one. Are you restarting? Uh, I'm not restarting. Well, I mean, this is a new new save file, but I'm just streaming this. They never seen me like play or talk about uh, this guy five before. A good game or disc yeah I've never I've never played this on stream or anything um, my brain might be fried from all the caffeine actually I came home from work and I didn't feel too too great so I I wound up napping Sorry about that. Um, somebody came into the room for a second, so I muted my mic. Maybe I should buy what this guy spinoff would I like to see? Um, Makai Kingdom. That's what kind of this guy spinoff I would like to see. I'd like to see Makai Kingdom.
Can they... Can they, uh, refuse this? My favorite DLC character in Disgaea? That's a hard one. I'd have to refresh my memory, but I really do like Gig. Pierre is really good in the game she she appears in. Or rather the What I mean in is uh the she's good in Disgaea 4. I don't remember if she's in any of the other uh games. The other Disgaea games. Yeah, he has his own game. It's a pretty good game, too. Yeah, Overlord Prayer. What? That was, that was like, last, last bit. Come on, man. Just increased, increased the expensive items in the stop, in the shop. So many, so many. All right, all right, there we go go um let's fucking go it was like it was a a sudden comeback it was a sudden comeback <laughs> Classic volume games, uh, love it. <coughs> I've talked, um, excuse me, I had to sneeze. I've talked pretty, um, pretty, quite a bit actually about them. Oh yeah, um, I'd like to see... I'd like to see them re-release the Clad Un games. That's what I'd like to see from them. Uh, I was just thinking about this. Um, yeah, I tried to run Clad Un X2. Because I was talking about it yesterday. And, uh, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to play it when I get home from work. Uh... I wound up falling asleep after work because I went to go play the game and it sucked. It fucking didn't work. It wouldn't read my controller. It has worked every other time that I've wanted it to, except for this time. And there's some glitch or something like that where it just doesn't read controllers. And even if I got it to read my controller, the biggest problem with the port is that it has controller issues. It has like some some actual, like, mentally retarded person, I guess, uh, handled the handled the port. And so whenever you go to change up, whenever you go to change it up, right, you're now dealing uh, with shit that doesn't work. Allow me to explain because I, I phrase it like a like an actual retard. Um, so when you go to change your controls uh, in 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 Clad on X2 on PC, not only is it buggy, is it clunky as shit, but you can completely screw yourself out of the menu because it's like you have to insert them all at once. It's like uh, it's if you've ever used like a Super Nintendo 
emulator. I think it's similar to that. Uh, or it's one of those those emulators. It's one of... Yeah, the Prinny Garden. Prinny Garden. You could have a Prinny Garden where you raise your Prinnies. Oh, actually, they already have something like this they could expand upon. In Disgaea 5, they have the, um... They have the, um... Uh, they have the Innocent Garden. Or whatever it's called. And you could raise your Innocence. And you go in, you go, you go into the Innocent World. And you're innocent rolled and you like pat them on the head as Laharl or something. And they they have a little heart and they grow faster. And then they and then they can go like they can compete against other innocents and when they win competitions they get major upgrades or something. That'd be sick. That'd actually be pretty funny and sick. Cause uh not only would it take less effort because they uh Because they could, um, they already have all the icons and everything. They already have the icons. The icons for innocence is just like whatever. It's like this guy, this guy, this guy. And it'd be really funny if you had like a like a monster. Hold on, let's go into, let's go create an enemy. Um, you could pet like the zombie. You could pet like one of these guys, one of these guys, like any of these. If you were petting these. And they had like a little heart above him, like this dragon or... I don't remember this guy, but he looks cool as fuck. Um, there's like the gun rifle. Imagine petting the gun rifle, you know, raising your affection with him. And then you send him into like... You send him into mortal combat with another innocent. Like in you inv you're invading, you're defeating other innocents in combat. And once you finish the competition, you absorb the other innocents or something like that. And they, you just, your, your innocent becomes stronger. But there's like some skill involved, I guess. Like you have to cheer them on. That could be, that could be pretty cool, actually. You could do that for printies too. I would, I would love to see that, like a printy garden, like a printy garden where they just get stronger. You accidentally throw your printy, he explodes and kills all the other printies, and you have to pay. You have to pay a hell fee to get them all back to life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the printing garden would be great. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, we're going into... Going into item world. Imagine reincarnating your innocence. Imagine reincarnating your farmed innocence. Oh, Bobby Re Barry. Oh, yeah. It's you in Barry form. Yeah. My niece showed me like a Barry that's similar to my Final Fantasy XI username. Oh. If any, like, Barry Bibibo is my Final Fantasy XI name. I use him for the axe, man. He's a little Lollafell. Or not Lollafell, uh. Taro Taro. I'm playing the private server, or I'm playing a private server. Uh, if anybody here has, uh, heard of, um, ah, geez, what's the name of the new Final, uh, the Final Fantasy XI server? I think I might have recently left it, actually. Oh, wait, Horizon XI. I'm just sick of seeing, yeah, I'm sick of seeing the notifications whenever their server comes back up. Dave? What? Uh, the Berry Guides on YouTube and... Many websites are completely wrong. Oh, yeah. They don't I... send their berries on, like, I don't know, Route 7, but I found two types of berries on Route 7. 
All right. Well, I mean, why don't you make a guide that corrects it then? I don't know how. We'll figure out how. Oh, that's true. We could be talking about another version. She left. Um. Yeah, I haven't really been playing Eleven that much anymore. I was trying to play it with a friend, but he's just not really digging it. Yeah, but there's still differences between the two. Oh, she was specifically complaining about berries. Or something. I, I don't know. My niece talks a lot about uh, the video game she's playing. It, it It's hard to, uh, to pay attention to, to be honest. I'm just trying to be, you know, polite about it. You know, she doesn't really have anybody else to, to talk to about video games. She she gets pretty excited about a lot of a lot of stuff. I mean, quite frankly, unless it's like a game that I talk about, a game that I like, uh. Like, it's hard to have a discussion and pay attention to it. I mean, there have been a few times where I told her I, <laughs> I was, like, I was, like, not in a good mood. And I, I think I told her, like, she asked her, like, do you even care? And I said no. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, but I've tried not, I've tried not to be rude about it. Because, like, uh, she's try she tries talking to, about it to her sisters and, like, they they tell her like nobody cares etc which is a bit much She's the, the youngest one. I, for those of you who didn't hear yesterday, I have three nieces. Might as well be my sisters because, uh, you know, they live with us, etc. They're adopted. Well, I mean, sometimes I do understand. Like, one of, like she talks about mobile games, too. Like, some of the ones I've never heard before. Um... Like, dollar discount mobile games that have, like, pet mechanics and stuff like that. She loves animals. She loves games with, like, animals and stuff like that. She will play anything. Like, she'll tell me about some Roblox game. Like, that even her nie my other nieces who typically play that kind of stuff don't play. Are you judging my niece, huh? You can't do that. You can't do that. J 
She is very nice, though. Yeah, she would love the. She would actually like uh, stuff like the Chow Garden. She do, she actually does play Animal Crossing. She played some of it today. I actually, I asked. Uh, she came into my room. I I don't know if I was streaming at the time. I don't remember. She said something like, um, or she was like grabbing the. Or she was returning or grabbing the 3DS or maybe I was something like that. And I asked her, uh, I said something like, um, oh, playing, playing Pokemon again, huh? Or something like that. She's like, oh, no, I'm not. I'm playing Animal Crossing. I said, who gave you permission to play Animal Crossing? That's what I said to her <laughs> as a joke. And she said, well, you didn't say I couldn't play Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, my 3DS is hacked, fully hacked. But I have multiple copies of Animal Crossing. I think I have, uh, I have three copies of Animal Crossing. I have two physical copies of Animal Crossing. And then I have one that's a save. It's, uh, it's digital, and that's from the hacked version. Um, but yeah, I got them, I got them a 3DS, their own, like, 2DS, actually, is what it was. And, uh, at some point, water got spilled on it, so I just let them use my hacked 3DS. Like, initially, I didn't want to do that, because it's, like, my 3DS, but I, I don't really play my 3DS anymore. You know, there's no reason for me to do that. These... I actually feel bad for my nieces because I feel like their childhood is being kind of r ruined in a way by my by my parents who are uh, huge boomers and and uh, do not understand that you know if if you just don't let them play video games they're just gonna you know they're gonna be I like completely alienated by their their peer group and stuff like that like everybody's playing Roblox and and all this and you know that's like one of the main ways to interact with people right now if you don't let them play roblox they're not gonna have any friends like even even now like uh the the older one that was in here uh glizzy goblin uh she's more social she likes to hang out with people but my parents uh kind of kind of minimum uh, minimum effort, minimum effort, uh, parenting, and can't be fucked to actually take them to, uh, go see their friends. So, like, even in an, a situation like hers where, you know, she, she's looking to interact with people out in the real world, it's just not gonna work out. Like, what, what are they supposed to do? Be friendless their whole life? Like, <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. Terrible for them. What are you doing? I would, I would hate, I would hate to be growing up in this household right now, to be honest. I'm already an adult, but, I don't know. Go even further over here.
Let me see. Cars are certainly a large contributing factor to loneliness. Their dominance as the mode of going from place to place has neglected the human experience of travel. I completely agree. I was talking about similar things like how basically having the USA being dominated by cars is like the worst fucking thing that could have happened to it. Uh, well, I mean, aside from some certain other laws, which I can't speak about around my niece. She's too young for that, guys. She's too young. She just entered and returned the three DS is all. Uh, but... Yeah, as I was about to say, because she's now not in the room, uh, women vote. <laughs> I can't say that. Um. Um. They're adopted by my parents. My nieces aren't... My, my nieces are Roblox gamers. I was thinking about getting them like a laptop or something like that, but I, I mean, I'm too fucking broke. And uh, they don't really agree on anything. When I was their age, I shared a PC with my brother. Uh, my two brothers, actually, because I had a, a half-brother. Uh, he moved out basically the moment he turned 18. So I actually, I think, I think it would be fair to say, like with the oldest one, I um, at that point I only really shared it with my younger brother. But uh, yeah, um, basically, uh, my I have a lot of brothers actually. I should point that out. Um. I have something like four or five brothers, but I only grew up with two of them. My parents got busy, but uh, they got busy before they got married, basically. Uh, how do I phrase this? Uh, my yeah, I've met I've met all of them, I think. But they, uh, you know, it's, um, they didn't really, like, uh, for the most part, they didn't live with us. There was, like, uh, the, you know, most of them just visited. Um, for a time, my niece's brother, or my niece's, my niece's father, my brother, was here staying with his wife, at the time wife, uh, who's their mom, and, uh, Let's just say their relationship was not good, but uh, he managed to knock her up three times within the span of three years. So once a year, this dude, uh, this this dude was at it with her, sexually speaking, and uh, it was a bit much. Uh, and she's kind of a huge psychopath, kind of a huge psychopath. Uh, She was, um, she was basically the stereotype that people talk about when they're talking about left-leaning women. The, uh, the super feminist type. What they're talking about there with the crazy people. Um, but, uh, I wouldn't say a Karen. This is more like, um, let's just say her boyfriend looks like he takes it in the ass and he's got, like, weird fucking... Uh, goth, he's got like weird uh, piercings, looks like a Satanist, like uh, like uh, that type of thing. I think he mentioned something to me, like when I met him once, something along those lines. Fucking like weird vibes getting from him. Uh, I don't know which way she leans politically, by the way, so I'm not talking about po politics. I'm just talking about... Uh, the type of person she is. Um, one time, uh, when they lived here, uh, at the time, my computer was near the, the exit to the house. It was um, in the computer room. 
I think I was, uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, at the time, uh, that's how it was. Um, and uh, so, so to, my, to the right of my computer, there's a hallway. And the first door on the southern side of the house, right, the southern side, right, so basically right to my right, right, uh, there's this room, and that's the room they were staying in, and they had some kind of argument, and my brother just started throwing her shit out of the hallway, out into the hallway, and they both started asking me to witness their abuse. Like, basically saying, come here and look at... Dave, come here and see she's hitting me, etc. Dave, come here and look. He's 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 abusing me, etc. Like basically, super terrible relationship. Nobody should ever be in. How did I react, uh, bro? I can't remember. I, I basically just like kind of watched it all happen. She was crying. I, I think I I think I talked to her a little bit. But uh, they were no good for each other. Uh, neither of them was good in the relationship. I should probably say that. Uh, anyway, the way that they lost custody of their kids is they were apparently drunk. I don't know. Maybe they weren't. They were apparently both drunk. And she bit his arm really hard. Like, uh, really, really hard. Like, trying to like tear Chunk out hard. And his reaction was to throw her through a fucking wall. Like, they were both in the army, too, by the way. So these people are strong. They 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 were fit. They were both fit. Uh, you know. So, yeah. Um, now they live with us. Um, my mom took them in. Uh, apparently she went, I, I, I don't know how, how far she went in through the wall. I'm, I was not there. She was, they were not living with us at the time. Uh, they were not living with us at the time. I probably should have specified that, but, um, this was like right after they left. This was like a year within a year after they left or so. Um, yeah, they did. They weren't together very long um give you an idea uh she was she was pregnant by the time she left she i think i i don't remember if she was like in the house when she had the baby when she had the oldest one but by the time she she was in prison when she had the third one because she was in prison for a while for the attack on my brother i guess But yeah, a lot of this is secondhand information. I did not see them after the fight. I didn't see if my brother had any bad marks on his arm. So I can't tell you how bad it was. This is all from a biased source, that being my mom, uh, who... She's his son, so... Or he's her son. She's his mom, I should have said. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Yeah, she got yeeted like she was in a Dragon Ball Z fight. Yeah, mom, moms are always going to be biased. They're going to take their, their son's word as fact. Um, let me see. Move. Oh, wait, I need to unequip this. I don't know. I feel like eventually I'm going to wind up doxing myself. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit too much. You're going to be able to figure out who I am, even though I don't really have much of a presence. I'm going to tell you too much one day. I've actually already told you guys too much, but I can't tell you what I've told you too much on, because then it would make it obvious. All you'd have to do is search it up. Huh? 
Oh yeah, there it is, the smiting rod. Well, I mean, obviously my name is Dave. Dave is such a common name, I don't really care if you guys know my name. The uh, I've already I've already kind of been doxxed before. Which is pretty crazy when you consider uh Oh wait, I moved it to the wrong item. It's pretty crazy when you consider how unimportant I am in the grand scheme of things. How little my channel is, how small it is rather. Yeah, basically, I, I mentioned uh, I mentioned something at some point, uh, and it was very specific. It was specific enough to get the location I live in, and from there it was a guess, uh, the general location I live in. But um, uh, am I a decent sized uh, Disky YouTuber? Aren't there like forty? There's people out there with like forty k or something like that. What the fuck am I doing? I need to stop doing this. I need to stop being distracted. I need to stop being distracted. I need to stop. I... I fucking hate... I hate this. I hate... I hate... I hate... ADHD. Are there? I've never heard of them. Uh... Yeah, there's a couple that talk about this guy. I don't know if they talk exclusively about this guy. I just know that they exist. I haven't, um... Uh, hold on. Let me turn off the heater, too, because it's probably frying my brain. Uh, there we go. You know that old lady that likes Disguy on YouTube? She reviews Disguy games and has a limited edition Vita. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Honestly, honestly, I thought it was it was kind of kind of sweet that she liked Disguy too. It was so cute. Just the most wholesome grandma. Yeah, it's called making a monster character. You make a monster character and you lower their stats. Um. I get very caught up on, on things, by the way. Uh, it's very hard for me to focus on two things at once. So... Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you noticed. I'll get to a thousand eventually. I do it to myself. Um, I'm wishing I had taken that. We're, we're gonna increase our EXP. Basically, we're gonna get these these fucking statisticians. We're gonna get insane statisticians.
Yeah, monsters are good in Disgaea 4 and up. I don't know if they're good in 3. To be honest, uh, the Vita remaster might fix a lot of their issues. Yeah, the Vita version, rather. But it's hard to tell. Only time will tell. I would say that uh, the part where the point where they became really good is when they got. Ooh. What is the worst Disguise game I've played? Uh, the original four. The original version of four was the worst one I had played. Uh, but I didn't beat the story. Uh, I would have hated the original fours in game though, because there's so many things they fixed in the, 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 the Vita version. There's so many things they fixed. I like I was looking at all this guide stuff to progress and like uh, like so much. Yeah, basically, I don't like the original four. Like it doesn't have the cheat shop for one. It doesn't have all this other stuff. So it sort of feels like you're just kind of going through with zero rewards. You're going, you're just, and then I guess you kind of, I, I don't know. Like a lot of the core gameplay of 4 isn't very. Hi. Hey, what's up? I'm learning things about Animal Crossing New Leaf. Like, there's not just normal tools and gold tools, apparently. There's silver too. Yeah, there's silver tools. So you want to play Animal Crossing, huh? Yeah, and apparently you can only get gold tools by completing this, uh, the book thing. Which I think is going to be difficult because I don't know when to get all the fish. You don't know when to get all the fish, you say? Hmm. You be okay. Anyway, the issue with four is the story. Like everything attached to the story, including the gameplay, is really bad. Uh, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. It was actually a slog to get through, and it's because it, it is because they removed a lot of the things I liked about this guy at one and two, but they also like sort of uh, make everything kind of like harder to grind. They make it pointless to grind, I should say, unless it's for levels early on. So item world is completely irrelevant. Do not bother with item world. Item world is a time sink that gets you nowhere. I've tried using it. I realized it was pointless. And the reason why it's pointless uh, has to do with the, the they added a innocent that determines the power of your weapons in the original not just your weapons your armor as well in the original first two games that's determined by mastery right it's determined by mastery just mastery and so your items were very valuable at all stages of the game they're not valuable at all until the the last quarter of the game in disguise for it it's actually ridiculous and the way that you get these, uh, you get these things for, um, for increasing the power of your armor and your weapons, it's just not time efficient. It's not time efficient unless, uh, do I have mental health issues? I know a lot of people with mental health issues. Uh, I wouldn't really say I have mental health issues, to be honest. Um... Who knows, maybe. You know, I'm not diagnosing myself here. Also, uh, yeah, I'll... Hmm. Uh, Michael Wolf's probably gone, but thanks for watching the streams. Thanks for uh, thanks for dropping by, pal. I mean, I, I do like the end game for for this guy of four, but it's like it's kind of 
kind of uh, weird, I guess. It's a very weird relationship I have with it because it starts to get good once you get to that point. And there's the, the cheat shop really ties it all together, as I said in my review. It really does. Um, I think that was the point where I actually started liking the game. Honestly, my, my Disgaea 4 review is a little bit cringe because I I'm really trying to like make make the review not sound like I hate the game entirely. I actually had to cut so much so much from that. That's why you have that segment where I go through all the all the negative things. <laughs> I, I like uh, that's there's a lot. I I mean I guess I I have a very I analyze things a lot in that regard, so it comes off as like really. Really terrible. I'm gonna try not to introduce my nieces to, to my fan base. Uh, it wasn't until recently my nieces realized I have a YouTube channel, so I prefer to keep it separate. Yeah, I love that. I love that about this guy one and two. I love being able to just hop in and and do whatever. Oh, he's joking. You think that uh, you think that Ruby Red was was joking? I mean, that's fair. He might be joking. However, uh, I've had people actually unironically say things like that. But it's not just it's not just um. I don't know. I, I guess I take th things a little bit too seriously sometimes. Because what if he was serious, right? I've been in a Discord call before and somebody uh, started... Uh, ...saying in voice chat some real whoa, whoa shit. You know, like, uh, you know that meme? Like the, fuck, the fucking pedophile face. And they heard my nieces, and they were like, whoa, whoa. And it was like, uh... Yeah, that, basically. The, the whoa meme is really fucking hilarious, but, uh... I mean, I mean, unironic, like. Oh, I, I don't just mean it like that. I mean, I guess I'm like, I'm just, I'm protective of my nieces in general. It has, it doesn't just have to do with the fact that you guys are, are my fans. Um, it has, it has to do with the fact that they are kids. They uh, ultimately, uh, but it has to do with both, I guess. In an ideal world, nothing like that would matter, but uh, unfortunately... Ugh. I worry about them because they play Roblox, too. Uh, my experiences with Roblox... My experience with Roblox is talking to somebody... Uh, and them admitting to being a... A pedophile that was my first experience them admitting to being a pedophile and saying even if you get me banned this is this is my burner account nothing's going to happen this wasn't like me talking to them they were uh, playing uh, I was invited to play the uh, it was like an Easter event. I was playing like this Easter event with my friend who, who's into Roblox, right? Uh, so it was like a public public event for Roblox where you hunt Easter eggs. And this guy was just blasting off in the chat saying, yeah, I'm a pedophile, basically. 
Yeah, they're really dangerous. I mean, my, my nieces know that they're dangerous, so that's good, but it doesn't solve the inherent issue of them potentially being exposed to all kinds of uh, shit they shouldn't be exposed to. Like, they're starting to use Discord, too, but I'm, I'm happy that it's not at that level yet. For the... It's not really bad, I guess. By really bad, I mean... You know, it's not at the level where I, I need to be super concerned for their safety. No, she... I mean, like, with the younger two, uh, they don't really... interact with that kind of thing. They don't interact with the, the really bad part. I'd be a little bit concerned about Glizzy, but the other two, uh, you know, like, not, not so bad yet. I'm mostly concerned because they don't really have a, f like, a important parental figure who's giving them, like, positive attention. Which is sort of, like, why, it's why I'm trying to hang out with them a little bit more and play video games with them so they can at least... They don't feel desperate enough to the point where they they have to like talk to people online and stuff. And then the bread sort of fucks with me. I don't know. I, I personally don't think I'm a, a great uh, brother figure for them, though. You'd probably be better off with somebody else. Uh, I, I don't mean that to, to beat myself up. I, I just mean, like, you know, I swear a lot. And that sort of deal. You know, plus, plus, you know, when I when I told you guys about the whole Edna folder incident, you know, I I I just have a lot of, I'm a very chaotic individual, <laughs> suffice to say. Like, the, the crazier something is, the more fun it is for me, basically. Uh, I don't, I don't just mean that. I don't use my phone for, for things like that. It's even worse. It's even worse using my phone for such smut. You have any idea how, how often my nieces ask me to use my phone even though I've never let them use it once?
I, I can't remember if I told you guys about the other major incident that happened because, uh... Okay, so... How do I explain something like this? Hmm. Okay. I chewed all the gum. You chewed all the gum? Yeah. It's all gone? Yeah. In four days. In four days. God. Gosh dang it. You just you just ate all the gum. So that's like 10 per day? At least? Yeah. It's only good. Might have been more. So I think there were only like six pieces left this morning. And now there's none. Mm hmm And the three that are in my mouth, they're not gonna survive. So 37 of their brothers and sisters are in the trash. Chewed up and dying. Oh wait, I can just go in through there like that. My niece goes through a lot of gum. I bought her a thing that, what was it, 40 pieces of gum? Mm -hmm. Had 40 pieces of gum and within four days she chewed all of it up. I chewed it all? all you it? chewed it all? All of it. Do I love God? <laughs> this is a Christian channel as you all know. Totally. Well, I mean, she did share. She did share some pieces with me. She probably, you probably shared with other people too, huh? Yeah. Four pieces. She shared four pieces, so that's nine, nine pieces. And there were six this morning. There were six this morning. Okay. Now she's stuck here thinking, "Wow, if I hadn't shared, I would have had ten more. I would have had ten pieces at the start." I'm playing. Don't hit me there. Elizabeth has been hitting me there. You're a lot more gentle. You're not at, like sincerely hitting me there. But I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't too sure. Like if if I if I had like bruising or if it was muscle soreness. It was like a weird. It was like a worse feeling. So I've actually been lifting lately. So finally, I got a fountain. Like I'm. I, I tried doing. Um. I, I don't remember what it was. My muscles were still sore. Oh, nice. You got a fountain? My niece is playing Roblox. She came in here to play Roblox. I was doing drawings for free again. Doing more free drawings? You need yeah. to stop that. No. Some, some person came up to me and then it was like, You need to get Roblox for this. And I'm like, No. And they're like, Okay. And then they just walked off. You need to get Roblox what? They said I needed to charge Robux for it, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna do it for free in there. And they're like, okay, and then they just walked away. I mean, that's really what you should be doing. Like, even even though you're like, uh, you're still learning how to draw, you know, like you're giving out a free service. I my niece was working for hours on multiple ro like, like drawing people's avatars and stuff. Two hours. Is there an age limit? Uh, I don't know. I would I would describe the age limit as you gotta you gotta be an adult. You gotta be an adult to be in here. <laughs> Stares at my niece intensely. Don't avert your gaze. You sh <laughs> you shouldn't be in here. Ugh. No, I'm playing. I, uh, I don't really care. Oh, what? I what? Yeah, I saw. You drew like bones on your hand. Uh -huh. Well, I'm just gonna be mad at you because that's a skeleton. That's bad. Uh, I was working on the one of someone's avatar. Uh, 
car drawing today. Um, like I think it was like 20 minutes ago or something. And they laughed in the middle of me drawing it. I can even go, I can even go get it. That's really rude. Let me go get it. <laughs> well, my niece is 13. Or my niece is around that age group, I should say. Not, not all of them are 13. They're very young. And she gr she graffitied on her hand. It's terrible. You're gonna get ink poisoning now. I skipped the page. And then you'll die. I skipped the page. I'm so mad. You skipped the page? On accident, I skipped the page. Where? Is it? This. I was in the middle of it. And you just left? Yeah, I'm so mad. I did this. I'm actually surprised by how young my audience is. I don't know. I guess I, I guess I hit the the soft spot of cringe, right? What's what's with that stare, huh? You're 39. Cool. Yeah, everybody here is so young. Why aren't you old like me? One person's older than you. Yo, one person's older than me. <laughs> he's probably lying about his age. Yeah, reverse that, and um, he's 96. I mean, 93. My aunt told me that I look too young. How old am I? Don't say. Don't say. He's one. I, I've uh, I've I've said my age before. I just think it's funnier if you don't get the answer. <laughs> I think that I think there was some genuine surprise when I said my age. She's not, this young. isn't Glizzy. This is this is my other niece, middle niece. She doesn't want her name out there. She's a real sweetheart. Let me tell ya. <laughs> I beat Elizabeth up in her sleep. We don't talk about that. We never speak of that again. Sp oh, never speak what? Nothing. <laughs> Wait, say it, say it, say it. I beat Elizabeth up in her sleep. You beat her up in her sleep? Obviously. That's messed up. Yeah. This is the middle child. I'm so mad. I can't, I can't buy it. She was in here earlier asking me to play tulip. Or asking to play tulip, if you remember that. I want to play tulip. She wants to play tulip. I'm going to beat him up until he says yes. You didn't hear that, babe. You're gonna beat me up? No. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, she's Malcolm in the middle. You wanna watch Malcolm in the middle with me? Mom will Mom will kill me if she catches us watching it, but you wanna watch it with me? Yeah! <laughs> She'd definitely kill you. Yeah, she would. Yeah, she would. Mom is actually Mom is actually uh the mom and Malcolm in the middle. She laughs. She doesn't. She she uh. She laughs. She doesn't know what. She doesn't know what the mom and Malcolm in the middle is like. Like mom. Yeah, it's like mom, but less reasonable. Her face. <laughs> Her face. Oh my lord. Can we do another post stream VC mint? Hmm, maybe. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on. I just got out of the item world. My statisticians. I've got to move them. You know, I probably should have done a lot of this grinding off stream. I'll probably advance a lot more. I'll play off stream. Yeah, you're loved here, Len. My my neat my um Glizzy likes you. She likes you a lot. She says you're cool. What? 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 Elizabeth. Elizabeth says that Len is cool. Len is a bit of a goofball, I think. He's a lovable goofball though. Can I buy tuxedos now? I don't know. Um Hold on, let me get this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that um that one item soon actually. I'm going to level up the the uh, other imperial item. What do you mean a cheat off stream? <laughs> I I do I do grinding off stream too. I can't get, have you guys here for the whole stream for the whole thing. <laughs> I don't even record all of my grinding sessions. Are you kidding me? Like even when I'm uh, I almost made the same mistake twice. That would have been stupid. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, it's of it's of Minato. Do I really need fish? I don't think so. I should have done this sooner, to be honest. <laughs> Look at this. Four hours of streaming. God damn. What? What? So where's the button that lets you assassinate the other players in this game? Um, well, what allows you to kill other Hello Kitty uh, cafe goers? Oh my god, hold on, give me a second. Let me go find it. You're gonna go find it? I know where it is. I'm dead serious. You're dead serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. There's a, there's a button that lets you kill them? I'm dead serious, kinda. Why is my voice so deep? Is my voice deep? <clears throat> my, nest, my niece says that my voice is not deep. It might just be the mic. I have a, a very nice, not a uh, very nice mic. Plus, uh, I mean, you're just you're you're compared like when you say deep. I'm thinking of like I'm thinking of other people. I've heard much deeper. I've heard much much deeper. My voice is normal. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She like, she smiles, she nods. Here. Let me, let me go find it. I don't know like, where it is. I think about, I think about Corpse Husband when somebody says That's deep voice. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I don't watch his stuff, but I've heard his voice before. It's pretty, yeah, I've pretty deep. I've watched um, Anthony Padilla do an interview with him. I don't know who that is. Pretty Good. pretty mod for Disgaea PC. What is that? Can I look at that on stream? Or am I gonna is this gonna potentially scar my niece for life? And get you banned. Yeah, hold on. Get you terminated. You're gonna have to look away. I don't know what he's talking about. See? If you play um if you play um Chromie's thingy, then you can uh, turn players into cake. This is the closest thing to killing them. Oh, I see. Okay, so this actually... Okay. Oh, jeez. I thought this was going to turn all my printies into maids. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, it, it's just performance related. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure. 
how good that is. DM me it on Discord. Hold on, I'll DM you it. What do you mean you're done with me? I'm scrolling up to find Ben's name. It's not because of something else that was in the chat that somebody posted that you might look at. It's not because of that. Hardly. Yeah, it's not because it's it's not because somebody posted uh, girls from the game on their secondary monitor. Yeah, I know it's safe for work. Oh, yeah. That's official art. That's official art. Yeah, I know it was leaked, actually. It, it's funny. It's funny when stuff like that happens. Um, now people can play it. Um, and they don't have to pay for it. Wow. Insane. Insane that they could just do that to a game that looks like actual shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm done uh, goofing off now. Let's do one more. It's censored, apparently. Censored? Hmm. Thinking. Thinking emoji. Dave, stop turning into an emoji. <laughs> smiley, smiley winky face. No. No smiley oh, winky face. Yeah. yeah. My friend my friend Bobber really liked to say smiley winky face a lot. And it just became a thing. He's turning into an emoji too. Yeah, it became a thing between us. We'd say smiley winky face. You can't tell me We'll do one more item world dive and we'll get the hell out of here. I hope that by the time I stream this game again, uh, my Geo, uh, my glizzy goblin character is overpowered. That way I can just hop through item world. I just I'll give I'll give her her character only boots basically and they will be speed as hell. I forget are there assembly bills on um on items in disguise 1? I'm thinking about it. I haven't seen an and then I haven't seen an assembly at all, actually. But I've only dived through the first ten levels. You know, now that I think about it, now that I've had time to think about what you said about um the censorship, why would why do they keep censoring these fucking pandering games? Sorry to swear. Well, I mean, it's not that you you care. It's more like I care. Cause I wasn't thinking about it. Yeah, do they have an item assembly? I haven't run into one at all. Why do they keep censoring the pandering games? Like that game is the only reason that game would ever sell is because of its its uh. It's pandering, essentially, and they, they remove the one reason to buy the game, basically. 
my niece would be happy if I told her it was a big boob game that it and that it got censored. But the game was already dog dog wiener. She would be happy. She would have be happy to know that it got censored. Who? You. Why? Because it's a it's it's like a pandering game where you you date big boob women, basically. You play that. I wouldn't play that. I've played I've played one of the Fire Emblem games, but this one is like hyper pandering, kind of lame actually. How much they pander sometimes. Wait, is my recovery gonna be shot? Yeah, I can't recover anymore. That's sad. I I didn't say that. You did say it. You said it, and now I'm crying. Good. As you should. I'm being penalized for talking about the big boob game. I'm, I'm play, <laughs> playing. <laughs> but you, you know how. You, I'm sure you've encountered games like that. Who? Uh, you. You've encountered games where it's I just like. I recommended them. You got and recommended them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're talking about Fire Emblem Engage, uh, which is like the hyper pandering game where you can, you just. I have one downloaded right now. You have one downloaded. You know what game it is. What game? It's black screen. Just wait till it loads. I'm waiting until it loads, but it's black screen. There. This uh, Fire Emblem. Oh, Skull Girls. That doesn't count. It does now. She plays the mobile version of Skull Girls. She's a, she likes Skull Girls. They have cool designs. But yeah, I'm talking about something else. It's basically like ultra pandering, weird stuff. Weird adult things, I guess. People people will play that. They they like those kinds of games. Uh For me, a game needs to be deep and philosophical. <laughs> Game needs to be deep and philosophical. I only play highbrow games with with commentary on the political landscape. Liar. 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 What are you talking about? This guy is the deepest game I know. I will, I will say I haven't looked too much into Fire Emblem Engage. It just doesn't strike me as a good game made uh, for the right reasons. I, I'm, I could be wrong, though. People will probably like it. It just doesn't seem like a good Fire Emblem. Sometimes you can just tell, like... Uh, imagine I released... Uh, gameplay footage of Disguise 6 and... You know, like everything's automated. Uh, it's it's genuine uh, gameplay, and the whole thing's automated. And the and the guy saying, in this game, you can just hit this button uh, from level one, and the game plays itself. You'll tell me about it. Yeah, I don't want to. I I guess I probably shouldn't be talking too much about it because maybe maybe you know it's better than a than it looks or something. Maybe you guys could actually enjoy the game. It's a return to traditional Fire Emblem, is it? I don't. Hey. It. <laughs> huh? You want to see what? You know that group chat that me and my friends have? Yeah. Where you want to see what someone sent? What they sent? Their their little brother doing this just. 
Oh, that's pretty epic. That's pretty epic right there. And then, and then uh, read that. Look at the picture and read it. I Don't say it! Why not? <laughs> Why can't I re why can't I report on what I'm seeing? Cuz then you love it. I could just say I could explain I could explain what I'm seeing and then it, there's a <laughs> differentiation between what I'm saying and what they're saying. What do you mean, don't ask? Don't I'm not allowed ask. to ask questions? Don't even ask what's happening. What's happening is you, you're chatting with your friends and your friends are making questionable posts. Yeah, Tucker, Logan, and uh, Leon. Oh, you're back in that Discord? I thought you left. I did. But then Tucker kicked everyone out. But I still had the link. So it's just me and Tucker in here. Oh. Yeah, did you forgive him for what he said? No. No? Who, Logan? Yeah. He apologized for that, I said, I don't care, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, for reference, can I tell him? What? Can I tell him what he said? No. Okay, I won't say that. No. Let's just say, let's just say that her friend said something really gamer, really ga pro gamer move. Yeah, really gay. Really, a real pro gamer move to to say to somebody you know in real life. Oh god. <laughs> Logan thinks this bird is hot. Logan thinks the bird's hot. That sounds like something Bobber would say. Sounds like something my friend Bobber would say. Oh god. Uh, no, not a slur. Something mean that you wouldn't... Oh! Um... Hmm? What'd they send? What'd they send now? Don't keep me waiting. Oh. What's so funny about it, huh? You think it's funny that... <laughs> yeah, you think it's funny? <laughs> yes. Jesse's pregnant now. Jesse from, oh from, from, from um, Breaking Bad. You wanna see more questionable things my friends have sent? Uh, sure, go ahead. Very two questionable pictures. Very two questionable pictures. They're just horny. Your yeah, friends are Tucker horny. And Leon and Logan. They're men. Of course they're horny. Think about it. Yeah. Oh god. What? Just a whole bunch of birds. Yo, Mr. White, I'm pregnant, yo. <laughs> Somebody added subtitles. <laughs> and the baby is yours, yo. Jesse, how did that happen? I thought I was I thought I was putting crack up my ass, yo, but it turned out it was <laughs> it was yours, Mr. White. <laughs> He's like, uh, that doesn't make any sense, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, that doesn't make any You're sense. A fan fiction about this. What do you mean? I'm gonna, I... I'm gonna force you to write a fan fiction about that. Why would I write a fan fiction? Because you're already saying it out loud. Might as well write it. Might as well write it. Might as well. I love my Pinterest. I love it. What? Uh oh. Damn, I love my Pinterest page. You love your Pinterest page? It's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, the baby's crack. The baby itself is crack. Um, That's what he's saying. That's 
That's what my, um, that's what uh, Len is saying in chat. It's the most optimum way to make high, super high. Uh, oh geez, what's the what's the word they use? They're making super high, uh, super pure meth is what they're doing. The the baby comes out and Mr. White says that that the that the baby's the highest. It's the um, it's the most pure meth he's ever seen in his life. It's impossible to make mere, uh, meth that pure, he says. He loves the baby. And then the, the, the drama that season between uh, Mr. White, between Walter White and uh, Jesse is that Walter White sold the baby. Jesse, what do you think this is? This is a business. You think that just because it was our baby, I wouldn't sell? I wouldn't sell it? I don't know. I'm going too far with this joke. This joke has been going on too long. It's it's not it's not funny anymore. It's not as funny anymore. If I do it long enough, though, it'll loop back around to being funny again. <laughs> what are you up to? What are you laughing at? <laughs> My friend. You're laughing at your friend? That's messed up. That's messed up, Izzy. Read it. Oh. I don't like my dad, so if he ain't coming home, yay. Her dad got arrested. Her dad got arrested? That's a fucked up thing to laugh about. She's laughing, I'm laughing. Okay. What is it with kids this generation and not liking their parents? I don't. But I love people. Oh, oh, that's what you meant. Okay, well. What do I... you think I meant? We have different parents now. You got you got the new Super Mario Brothers of parents. They just slapped the word new on there. It's new, it's new now. Oh. We're going home. No, you're not. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean I'm not going home? Home's right there. Home is where the heart is. My Pinterest search history is so good. Look at it. There's nothing. A tulip. Oh, were you just looking at pictures of tulip? I wasn't- I'm actually surprised you like it so much. I want to beat this to kiss Bobber Joe. That's why I'm so invested. Oh! I let her name the girl and she named- she named the girl in, uh, Chulip after my friend Bobber Joe. His name- it, well, it's not his real name. It's a, uh, he went by the name Bobber Jones. Yeah, but we couldn't fit the the word Jones in there, so it became Bobber Joe. I'll finish this. I'm gonna show my friend Bobber and tell him tell him we're after him. We're gonna we're gonna romance my friend Bobber. <laughs> yeah. She didn't she didn't know that it was a love interest. That's important to note. But it makes it funnier, I think. Yeah, Bobber's gonna think it's funny. I I should have spelled it uh, B O B B E R like Bobber liked it. 
Bobber J. Then it would have just been Bobber Joe without the E. Yeah, Bobber Joe without the E. Joe Mama. Yeah, Bobber Joe Mama. <laughs> Such a good name. I should have named it Bobber Joe Mama. Should you have? Yeah. Pinterest is one of the most addictive websites. It's not. Hmm? Pinterest is not one of the most addictive sites? It's not. What's the most addictive site in your opinion? TikTok. TikTok? Yeah. It's pretty accurate. It's overrated, but... I'm it's overrated? I'm over no, not me. Uh, it's overrated, but I'm addicted too. <laughs> so, I can't be talking. Mm. Yeah, the weirdest thing I've seen you guys look at on TikTok is those videos where it's like three videos playing at the same time. And oh. like, it's like a clip from a TV show, but they're also playing a video game. Let and maybe sometimes up. there's a third one. Let me pull one up. Don't pull, do, do not pull one of those up. I should have killed, I should have finished that level. This, see, this is like the first thing I got in the list. This from a TV show. Yeah, from a TV show, and they're doing something completely different. Maybe it's cooking. Maybe it's doing some weird thing. And another. And another. Yeah, that, that shit should be banned. This was YouTube. It would be banned so fast. There should be more. It's to, it's to fry your brain. That's what it's for. It's to make you retarded. It's to make you actually retarded and fry your dopamine receptors. This shit is terrible. It is to kill the next generation. And maybe, maybe I sound like my, I sound, I. Sound like an old man. Yeah, I sound like an old man, but that's actually what it's for. They, they want, they want you fully, uh, fully, fully dopamine fried and loving it. Uh, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit cautious about that sort of thing. Uh, about frying my dopamine receptors further because, uh, you know, I have, I have ADHD, so I have to be consciously, I have to be conscious of that kind of thing at all points in time. Uh, cause even video games are kind of bad, bad for me in that regard. Uh, but, um, be even worse uh yeah actually i mean it's coming it could be even worse this is even worse this is what i'm saying it's even worse than this guy i know it's real rich coming from from me but uh you know It's it's even worse. Like you you should probably focus on you should focus on other things. Like what? Uh, not watching two videos at the same time. Did you know that uh, a decrease in intelligence is re directly related to watching TV? And playing too many video games? Did you know that? Dave. Yeah. That's Dave. you. I don't play too many video games. You guys walk in at bad times. I'm often talking to my friends. Why are playing video games? Mm. I mean, I do play video games with my friends, but... I'm being called out right now. <laughs> this is a call-out post from my nieces. Where did I put my... It got eaten. Oh, that's what happened to it.
Yeah, I just think that TikTok is even worse, I guess. <laughs> My niece is pretty smart, though. So, you know, I'm not trying to put you down. You're, you're, you're probably the smartest out of your sisters. She gets straight A's. Somehow, she gets straight A's. Well, I got one B. You got one B, but they changed it after the fact. They changed. They told you it was gonna be an A, and then they gave you a B. She lied to me. She lied. She lied. She said she's she's succeeding too much. Let's give her a B. And it was in science too. No, it was in math. Yo, you still streaming? Yeah. Mom. I'm almost Yo, done. Yo, Lennon, what's up? What's up, the stream's Lennon? over after I, I move this stuff. Yo, what's up, Lennon? Lennon! <laughs> He's hiding now. He's afraid. Lennon, it's Lizzie the Glizzy. Hi. Hi. He's alive. Yeah, I know you're alive. Well, bye, Lennon. Why do you smell like smoke? Damn. Anywho. Oh. Uh, anyway. Anyway. It's been fun, guys. I'm gonna hop off. Uh... Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm streaming this every day at 2 p.m. At the moment. God damn, four and a half hours. <laughs> anyway. See ya.